All right, so <laughs> it's like 3 a.m. right now, and I have not been able to sleep. So, uh, I, you know, I'm playing World of Warcraft, and uh, I'm just browsing through YouTube, and this video comes up from Destiny. Uh, Destiny defends innocent 18 year old from cancellation. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder what that is. Because I remember I had a sneaking suspicion this was about the whole John Tron or John Swan. He's always, he's getting people named John, bro. My father's name is John. Destiny, get him. Bad guy. <laughs> uh, anyway. Catch the thank you so much for just the subscribe. Um, Anyway, I actually was really interested in the John Swan situation, and my understanding is they, they did a stream where they went like through the whole entire thing on Destiny. I saw people in the commentary community like Tipster and them, um, I think Augie too, maybe Nicholas Diorio. Delorelo? I don't know. Diorio. Yes, I think. Um, and they were like, oh, Destiny, blah, 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 blah. Like, owned him or something. So the limited, what I understand, I don't know too much about the situation, which is what we're going to do. We're going to educate ourselves on this situation. But for what I understand, this 18-year-old was chatting with a 15-year-old, which is like, like, listen, from, a, from, my, from personally, I'm not like a super big fan of that. Like if it was my 18-year-old kid chatting with a 15-year-old, I wouldn't let them do it. But from a societal perspective, like it is generally considered appropriate. So you wouldn't chastise or condemn somebody for doing something like that. I think it's inappropriate. Uh, I wouldn't allow my kid to do it. I frown upon that behavior. But like from a societal perspective, like <clears throat> it's it's like acceptable. So you wouldn't like ruin someone's life over it. You would basically say like, hey, you, hey, like, hey man, like this is inappropriate. You're a bit older. You know, you shouldn't really be messing around with 15 year olds. Um, that's about it. I don't know the context, though. It seems like they were just both like chatting like mutually. It was like willing. Full. It was like, well, it was consensual because you can consent with that age range. Um, and then I think John Schwan, John Schwan. I can't say this guy's name. John Swan. Carson part two. No, Carson was 19 and 17. I think that's totally appropriate. Uh, anyway, John Swan was like convinced this 15 year old to try to cancel an 18 year old. So we're going to educate ourselves on this conversation or well, on the situation right now. One of the worst things you could probably do to somebody is like okay. try to destroy their life with something like this. There's a lot of conversations True. about like, you know, like what does it mean to bully somebody or what does it mean Whoa. to stand up for somebody or like no, how we act like good people. Dramatic. And I think that this is kind of the measure of it, right? Like, do you support behavior like this or I thought you know, right do you just stand by and watch it happen or worse, like propagate it and support it? And it seems like a really bad thing. In high school- You know what's interesting? Like with this, I wonder if the motivation from John Swan was to actually, um, was to, okay. So 15, 18, I think is a big deal, but I wonder if John, John Swan knew that. Like, I know it sounds so weird, but I feel like we're all so wrapped up, or especially young people are so wrapped up in like Twitter morals. That's what I want to call it. Twitter morals, online morals, TikTok morals. Um, we're, they're so caught up in, in this that they think that this is a bad thing. And it's like, I want to call this out. This is a bad thing. Oh, it's grooming. It's not grooming. It's really not. Grooming is an incredibly deep, methodical process of like manipulating somebody to take advantage of them sexually. Like, this is not grooming. Um, it's just not. It's like it's it's so difficult to like really groom somebody. It's such like a really deep process. Everything is grooming now, though, and so like it's so hard because basically what it is is the online world is the the narrative is controlled by children, the morals of children. I don't think we look at it like that. Um, like if if we put all these people in a room together that was like prescribing morals on the internet, uh, and when we looked at them, we'd be like, hmm, I wouldn't I I wouldn't normally listen to you. It would basically be like a YMCA, like of just like a bunch of young kids. <laughs> being like this is grooming but since it's the internet and there's like a level of um like anonymousness anonymity i guess i should use that word uh it's like maybe this maybe this person saying that a 17 year old and a 19 year old maybe that is bad and then of course you have the adults that like play into the behavior this childish behavior this kid better start healing me or i'm gonna kill him and i'm gonna smooch him on the lips um Adults start to play into the behavior so that they can come off as like virtuous. It's like, you know, those are your, your, you know, your, your virtue signalers. Those are your adults. Those are, you know, your sussy bakas, um, which makes things even matters even worse because then you put like an older person's face on the name and it's like, well, maybe it is reputable because this person uh, is like, blah, 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 you know. So I wonder though if John Swan actually was trying to ruin somebody's career or if he actually genuinely thought that this was a bad thing and that's why he engaged in the cancellation of this. We used to fight with like knives, but now you guys fight with nuclear weapons. That doesn't okay, mean you're that's right. Social media is <laughs> time to drop a doc to like ruin this. Dude's because life. like behind the scenes, I told one of my friends about it, and mm -hmm. they're like, "That's bad. Why didn't you say anything before?" And I'm just like, "Is it really that so bad?" I feel like fuck. some sort of retraction or some sort of like, "Hey, like 
this was a thing it ended but like because right now it feels like this guy's life is on a bad trajectory now with with the okay. document you didn't get groomed by cammy you got groomed by john swan well into writing this document <laughs> oh, but like, it might be the, i feel like i kind of regret this oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's fucked up too. Like, imagine pressuring a fifteen-year-old into like coming forward. I, it's, I know it sounds so weird, but like even, um, like I know this is maybe a hot take. It's even kind of, dude. It's like it's never up. It's never like an easy situation. Even pressuring, like a young person who's gone through a legitimate good grooming trauma to come forward and 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 talk about it. Like it comes from a good place, and I'm talking I'm not talking about this in general, in general, but it can be like really traumatic for that person. It's fucked up how fucking horrible trauma is to a point where like trying to hold your um, the person, your abuser, uh, accountable can lend it to your trauma because then what, a lot of times what happens is like oh they, you know again I'm not speaking explicitly uh, expl like, to this case. But a lot of times what can happen is like, you know, you have to go to court and then you have to deal with it in that way. And then you have to like relive it in the stand and you're a kid and it's like really fucked up. It's like one of like the really deep aspects of, of manipulating children is that like it'll be additionally traumatic for them to come forward and, and admit their, the uh, the abuse happened. And so like in general, it can be difficult to pressure. Like sometimes it's like, oh man, do you want to come forward? Like it's such a fucked up situation. Okay. Oh my God. Is this, is he going to read that? I just want to clarify a few things in the events today. A few days ago, I was contract or contacted by a girl. Watch this. I'm going to play this game and it reads at the same time. Uh, I was contacted by a girl who I have mutual friends with. She told me they were taking advantage of, manipulated it, and I gave some advice based on what I told them to do, directed her uh, that I could, to people that could help. Um... Apparently, she was pressured by her friends into coming forward with this information. Oh, I'm pretty sure he was the one who pressured him, though. No? <laughs> uh, let's see. Forward with this information, and they put ideas into her head. The writers of the document consistently checked up on her to make sure uh, she was okay going public, and she confirmed every time she was. She told me today that she didn't feel that she did feel weird about it. <coughs> I'm so old. At certain points, uh, but shrugging it off and then didn't tell them. I don't blame the girl uh, for this, of course. Things can get confusing when put under too much pressure, but that was the reason it led this to the clusterfuck happening. Uh, this is what was going... This was all about trying to help the girl. I believe her motivations were clean, and I did not know she had outsider influence. To make things super clear, I did not write a word of the document. I looked at small portions and made edits when I asked. And when I didn't have a problem with the docs released at the time, Destiny's Stream definitely opened me up a new perspective. And upon receiving the information from the girl today, I think I'm comfortable saying that the document should have never been released. While I didn't write the doc, I feel feel partially responsible to release it. Apologies for the inconvenience in the future. I don't want people to use my DNs as a dumping ground for their allegations. I will not be touching any of this with the 10-foot pole ever again. Okay. I guess that's his response to the Destiny stream. This music is so dramatic. Holy moly. Holy, holy garbanzo. And then there's more. I'm not, I'm not really going to read it. It's a, people calling him out. I've received an apology from my accuser. New video out soon. Interesting. I guess the person's name is Cammy. I guess that's the person who got canceled there. Or the attempted cancellation. Which can really mess you up, man. This kid was like, 18. bro, it's crazy because, like, bro, I, it, it cancellation is gonna really mess your life up for some dumb shit. You know, even when you make like honest mistakes too, like people want to like ruin you off the internet forever. It's like you can never grow as a person. It's like, have you ever made a mistake? It's like, no. Even though, like yesterday, they like punched a blind person. You know what I mean? Like everybody, everybody fucks up all the time. I'm talking to no. Hold on. Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. I have to check his age again. <laughs> He's 18, talking to a 15 year old. So it's like a high school, it could be like a senior and a sophomore. Like, who cares? I like how the guy wrote yeah, the 18 audio turning is 19. Old. Yeah, I mean, that's typically most 18 year olds will become 19 years old next. <laughs> oh, is that what they added? They added the flavorful language of the 18 turning 19. They're freshly, oh my goodness. It's like the same thing as when um, a girl sleeps with somebody who's like 23 and she's 18 and they're like, she's freshly 18. She only just turned 18. It's like, okay, but that is legal, right? Like we understand that. Like I, <laughs> like you're using like overloaded language to try to cancel somebody for doing something that was like deemed appropriate. It's crazy. That's usually how it goes. I'm noticing more and more people treating text messaging slash online info exchange as real deal relationships as normal. Um... 
I mean, it probably is more normal now. Crazy. But I, I don't know how normal. Yeah, fuck, I'm gonna get my ass beat. It's, I feel like I have to try to do this without being condescending. Like, he says he doesn't want Lizard to feel uncomfortable around him while not stopping to consider that he's the adult in the situation. Bro, he's 18. <laughs> Are you serious? Did she say she's hello? uncomfortable? Hey, hello? Hello, you alright? What's up, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. Alright, nice. Is this the Cami guy or John, John Swan? So, uh, I should probably say, um, I didn't write the document fully. It was uh, okay. someone else who don't want to be like involved. Uh, I wrote like parts of it. But Wait, is this John Swan in his thing? Didn't he just admit that he didn't write any of the document? Like, what the fuck? Okay, so <laughs> what? Why? Why this document? Uh, so basically, Ram, the, uh, the girl came to like a friend, and she said like this was fucking creepy and like a bit predatory. Wait. Uh, wait. Okay, sorry, go ahead, finish your whole story, go ahead, and then I'll... Uh, it's just interesting, because, like, okay, let's, if a, like, listen, if a 15-year-old says something is creepy and predatory, I think that it's, their, their, their feeling of being creeped out, it can be very valid, but that doesn't mean that they're right about it being predatory. It could just be, like, it might be an instance of, like, kind of being, like, somebody being, a sh like, a shitty person, but when you overload, like, you might be like, oh, this guy's kind of an asshole, and he's being, like, kind of, like, sexually explicit, and maybe it's not consensual, I don't know the specifics. That doesn't mean that it's like predatory, you know, if they even use that language, which I kind of doubt that they even said that, but you know, we don't know yet. Um, you could be like, oh, well, what happened? Oh, this 18 year old was talking to me and I didn't really want to do it. And I told him no, and he wouldn't stop. It's like, okay, well, that's fundamentally shitty. The fact that your, like, your ages aren't necessarily much of a fact, aren't really much of a factor here. You know, you can be shitty without having to be a fucking like predator. You know, it's crazy how like if somebody's bad, like, oh, I'm in a toxic relationship. Oh yeah, they're a fucking abuser. It's like, well, maybe you guys, maybe that person's just toxic. That doesn't make it okay. But like, not everything has to be a fucking like trigger word. Not everything has to be a superfood. You know what I mean? <laughs> not all fruits have to be superfoods for them to be good fruits. You know, not all, not all behaviors have to be uh, abusive or predatory for them to be bad behaviors. It's crazy. Uh, and shit. So like, she sent the messages. She sent the fucking like all the evidence within like minutes, right? Uh huh. Uh, like after reading like most of the fucking like 220 screenshots, uh, we just like. We decided this is fucking weird, like based on all like the context and shit. Okay. And like, um, weird. kept saying like, yeah, this feels like weird and creepy. I know you're 15, like, but, oh, and then no. he kept going. And so like, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to say he's like a predator. Well, I, you I are. Think, Wait, are, come yeah. on, let's okay. at least know it, right? You're trying to say he's a predator. A weird, like, predatory behavior. Right. Don't you, didn't you, don't you literally have like a tweet that's kind of like calling him a pedophile? <laughs> uh, which one? The Titan turning into a Titan, the one okay. guy turning into Epstein. That was possibly an inappropriate joke. <laughs> Okay, so uh, dude, come on. I hate this joke defense because like jokes exist. I think that's like hot take jokes exist. But people use jokes as a as a comedic vehicle to say something that they actually mean. And it's such like a pussy move to be like, well, I was actually just joking. Like, of course, you can make jokes with like that are positively like well intentioned. Or like you make a silly joke, like whatever, you can do that, okay? But that doesn't mean that like every time you make a joke, it frees you from any punishment whatsoever. Like that's such a fucking deaf noodles defense. Like, dude, you know, I made jokes before and there are times where they were like positive, like they were well-meaning jokes. And then there's times where they, they weren't. And you can, you could tell, I personally, I don't. I don't know that you can really make like meaningless pedophile jokes. I mean, like it's it's a fucking like you really shouldn't be fucking joking about somebody being a pedophile, right? Like I know we have my classic old enough to bleed, old enough to breed. That was making a joke about somebody you know being a bit of a predator allegedly, but they were twenty three sleeping with a fourteen year old like that, <laughs> like allegedly of course. But you understand what I'm saying? Like okay, what's the joke? Yeah, the joke is that that's disgusting behavior. Like you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> But do you think I'm like, oh, just kidding. I don't think he's gross at all. It's like, no, I do. I think that's gross. That's why I made the fucking joke, you know? Oh, yeah. You could use oh, jokes to reinforce your point. A lot of times, like, people actually, it's delivered even better. When you can give somebody a bit of a chuckle, it's delivered even better, I think. But I'm sorry. I'm laughing because it's all funny to me. But you're like, kind of like trying to destroy somebody's life over some, like, pretty dumb shit. So if the if the Liz person yeah. didn't like these conversations, they're like, why not just say, like, hey, I don't want to talk to this anymore or, like, stop talking to him? Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it's mainly just, like, there's this guy she talks to like a lot and he started DMing her like after she'd broken up with her boyfriend and like she was in okay. like an emotional place. He started talking You're to talking her. You're talking about the, the beginning of every like fucking high school relationship okay. ever, but okay, uh, go ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Like, yeah, uh, your advice could be like, hey, say no. Like, that's one of those things, uh, you know, is that like if a girl, if, 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 a, if a person doesn't want to talk to another person, tell them to say no. 
Um, just because she's young doesn't mean that she can't say, hey, I don't really want to talk to you. Especially it's online. Like, it's kind of difficult for her. Like, it's not like you just be like, okay, I don't want to talk to you. Unless there's like a reasonable suspicion that he will destroy her fucking life if, if you know, or she feels like there was some harm will happen, which is incredibly rare. She can say, hey, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And if your argument's like, well, maybe he would, he, which means she do not want to make him feel bad. Sometimes you have to be an asshole. Sometimes in order to establish boundaries, you have to be an asshole. And I don't think that it's a good habit to get into to especially tell women or young girls that like, they should be nice just so to make a man uh, not feel uh, upset because that carries over like into the future. Like that's why I honestly, I feel like my wife has a little bit of that. Whereas there's like times where she won't really speak her mind because she doesn't want to make me or somebody at work upset. And it's like, just fucking tell me something. And then she'll say, and I'm like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Like, oh no, like it upset me slightly. But like, as I understand because, like, you know, me being upset is because I literally didn't know what your perspective was. Like, you know what I mean? It's it, you tell her to do that. Like, hey. Just make out yeah, tell them maybe not to do that and you're not into it. You know, you have to stop treating people like they you have to teach people that they can stand up for themselves. A set, like I'm telling you right now, like if you get into a if you don't get into a positive habit of a setting uh, like a setting respectful, firm, uh like boundaries and fair boundaries with people, it re regardless, it doesn't even need to be sexual, whether it's like in the workplace or in a sexual capacity or just in a friendship level, you're gonna get fucking walked all over. You're not doing her any favors by calling everything fucking pedophilia. Like you don't have to be horribly offended in order to, for you to be like, dude, you don't have it doesn't have to be like aggressive or predatory for you to be uncomfortable with a boundary like you could just be like hey i don't like that hey don't do that okay like i like fucking oh, like, oh i don't like when you bite your nails like in a relationship okay like you're allowed to set boundaries <laughs> like it, it doesn't have to be like when you bite your nails it brings me back to the moment that my father used to take his his nails and, and write them across the chalkboard and then violently beat my mother like we don't have to have drama associated with things that make us uncomfortable for those people like, Hey, i don't like it when you bite your nails in front of me do it when you're not okay it doesn't have to. It's not. Doesn't have to be that deep. It's fucking crazy. Uh, she fucking. She like I don't know if she felt weird about that at the time. Right? Well, she uh, did. She feel weird. Did she say that? Did she ever express that at all, or is she well, just expressing it now afterwards? Did she say ever but, to him like, "Hey, I don't like this. Or I don't want to talk like this. Or this is weird." Or uh, no. Okay. Well, how was he supposed to know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. But like, <laughs> well, not just fair enough because now you're trying to destroy his life, right? So uh, the way I see it, right? This guy like, so he, he knew she was fifteen, like based on conversations. Who cares? Like, he went at, like. Uh, the age, like, okay, ignore the age gap thing for a second. Uh, fucking... The age gap could be, like, two people in high school, right? 15 okay. and 18 could be, like, a sophomore I, and a senior. I, I think it's different, uh, when it's, like, because Cam's in college, and, like, in a different country, so I feel like it's a little bit different. Uh... Is it really that different? They're, like, three years apart. Mm. I, I, I don't think... So I, it really makes me wonder if he actually thinks it's inappropriate or if he's using it as an excuse to try to cancel this person. Uh, there's so many different things. He could actually think it's inappropriate. He could be trying to use it to cancel this person because he doesn't like them. He might like actually think it's slightly inappropriate, but not a big deal. But he wants like a, a story because he doesn't have content to make. There's like 5,000 different reasons why he might be doing this. It's fucking crazy. Um, like I've seen that argument before. Like you could probably make the argument that like, hey, it's it's like if they're both in high school, it makes sense because they're still in the same sphere. And based on the spheres that you're in, could, could determine some level of of your maturity. So like, if you're an 18 year old in high school, chances are you're less mature than an 18 year old that's like out in college working. Like for sure, you could definitely make that argument. But generally speaking, we we set these boundaries for like a reason. So even if you feel it's inappropriate, like I said, I I do. It doesn't mean that you you would, would chastise somebody. Like it's it's societal standards versus your. Personal personal moral values and you can't always expect everybody to adhere to your exact value like if it was my friend would i be like bro i think that's kind of inappropriate you're talking to her sure but does that mean this guy needs to be fucking canceled and like destroyed no that's just fucking stupid Like you're gonna ruin somebody's life over something that even if you think it's bad is something that he doesn't think is bad or understand is bad and it's not gonna have a fucking traumatic response for this girl at worst this girl might grow up and go like that was a little yucky i think people don't understand that either a lot of people online like i talk about this all the time i talk about my wife's this is like a lot of younger girls talk to older guys and it's and i'm not just talking about like these age rat ranges like this is fine i'm talking about like older so like my wife told me like when she was younger she talked to like a guy that was like older than her like 10 years older and she was like you know it was never traumatic but like looking back it was gross um but i don't have a trauma response it was just inappropriate 
and which makes sense, you know what I mean? And I was like, bef- you know, I was before, and if then I, then when I mentioned that on my platform, other girls were like, yeah, I feel the exact same way. I was like, wow, interesting, because like I had always thought that it would be like always like instantly traumatic or something. So like you know, um, you're kind of assigning a, an emotion to to women that don't actually experience it. And then the conversation rolled into like a lot of girls and people now they're told that this is inappropriate, like so, like an like age gap is inappropriate. And so, like, which it is, and it's like, the, and, and an extreme example of like a fucking, like, let's say, like a sixteen-year-old and like a twenty-four-year-old. It's disgusting, but it doesn't necessarily make it like traumatic. And I feel like we assign trauma to things that we don't understand, and a lot of younger people aren't experiencing this as much anymore because we're being good at socially policing it, which is a good thing. But like, she's not gonna have a fucking trauma, especially like eighteen and fifteen. Like, she's not getting sexually assaulted. Like, it's not that fucking deep here. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy. Another question. Has anything abusive actually happened here? Like, is there any evidence of him grooming or ignoring her saying no or anything like that? Well, okay. Just... No. okay. No. And then my second question is, it sounds uh, like he knows that he's arguing from like a space where he's not going to be able to win this. So like, why not be like, honestly, I thought it was worse than it was. And I didn't realize I was being fucking stupid. And then we just got knocked into a group of things. If I were to start going through these DMs, is she like flirting back with him? Yeah, but like, oh, so okay. she, so basically, she started like she just said that she started like liking him in these conversations, right? She started she what? Started, like liking him. It's a, I don't know. Hold on, I don't know what you're saying. Blanking him, blocking him, liking. liking oh, him. liking him. So she yeah. likes him. He's being flirty. Yeah. <laughs> She's not saying no. What 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 are we what are we writing here? What is happening? Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll just give me a second to. Sure. If you want to drag anybody else in to represent your side, feel free to. Uh, Incredible. Hold on, wait a second. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, so that's not John Swan. Okay, so that's not John Swan. Okay. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. Thank you for telling me that. I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to know? There's no indicator on the screen of who the fuck it is. I don't even freaking know. It's not. It's just not John Swan yet. Okay, thank you for telling me that, though. I did not know that. Thank you very much for actually telling me that. Um... To be clear, my goal is not to like trash on you in this conversation, okay? I'm no, not. No. I'm not trying to pull like an ancient thing, but, like I, like you're a lot younger. I'm not here to like debate you and own you or anything like that. Yeah. I just like so, here's like something that worries me. It's kind of like an older person, okay? Um, yeah. I was in high school and I was a fucking idiot in high school, and I'm sure that even now, how old are you? Uh, true. Oh shit. Okay, you're 15. Okay. Well, you probably thought you were a dumb fucking middle school, right? When you think back to how you were in seventh or eighth grade, you think, man, that was cringe. I would imagine. Or at least Bro, that's let me I tell feel. you. Until I hit the age of like 25, 26, 20, I think it was like 26, 27. I remember there was a period from like 20 to like 25 or six where every every like year almost, I was like, wow, I was a fucking dumb piece of shit the year before that. It takes a while for people to mature. Like, you'd be surprised even into like your 20s. You know, like it it's it's a fucking process. So people are dumb as shit. <laughs> You're going to look back at this moment. Like, if you're a younger person, you're going to look back at this moment today and you're going to be like, wow, I was a fucking moron. Like, every high school does. Yeah. So it happens. That's fine. I'm not like, I'm not like shitting on you or trying to like make it out that you're like a dumb fuck. But I guess like my, the thing that's weird to well, me. Well, yeah, you don't want to cancel the 15 year old for like having a lack of understanding of the way the fucking, uh, like, of like actual proper boundaries, you know? You don't want to cancel him. Is it like, there's a lot of stuff that happens in high school. Um, there's yeah. dumb stuff. Seniors dating freshmen, um, you know, sophomore, junior chicks that try to get with like college guys because they think it's like so cool to date a dude that's like older. Like there's yeah, like dumb yeah. stuff that happens. Some of it probably shouldn't happen. I agree. Like sometimes it's weird when you get like, um, when you get like college freshmen or sophomores that are trying to go after like high school, like juniors and seniors, it's a little bit weird. Sometimes you have like, um, you know, maybe two people are both in like a drama or something and like a freshman starts dating a junior and then all of a sudden she's like, um, she's a junior in high school and now he's like a sophomore in college. Like stuff like that happens. There's a lot of like weird stuff that happens because in high school, the ages get mixed up a lot more, at least for me, than they did in middle school and grade school. Like when you're in middle school and grade school, it's usually like fifth graders with fifth graders, sixth graders, that's how it was for me. But then when you get to high school, now you can start to have all these people mixed up. I guess the thing that scares me or that's a little bit worrying is that like, um, now you have like stuff that is like normal high school stuff and right. like nothing bad has even happened but you're trying okay. to like um destroy this guy's life <laughs> like yeah, first could i uh, yeah, 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 someone in, so. uh and secondly uh like he did like before delaying it, it did offer to like send a dick pic and ask for a snapchat okay so, okay so <laughs> i don't care but well, all right fair enough it's i will I, dude it's like such it's the it's the folks it's the dumbest fucking um technicality that some people will run with like they'll be like, oh well, you know, it's technically illegal to send a dick pic, or whatever, and it depends on the state. Like in general, like online laws are really regressive comparatively to like uh, like real life laws because the internet's like catching up. Uh, it takes Congress like forever or whatever political body. <clears throat> But, like, if we can sit here and be like, hey, I don't think it's, like, inappropriate for, or if we can understand that it's not societally inappropriate for, like, an 18-year-old and a 15-year-old to have sex, it might make you uncomfortable, but it's not societally inappropriate. If we can acknowledge that, 
then like why do you think that a less intense tactic like sending dick pics why do you think that that deserves a harsher criticism even if it's illegal like why why do you think that it deserves like a, a harsher punishment somehow isn't that fucking insane it's just bizarre it's like so it's just so weird hello can you hear me loud and clear hi hi um so first of all i just want to clarify like we do the same thing with like um with like marijuana like we know that it's like not as intense and it's like not even as bad as alcohol and we're like yeah we're okay with that even though it's illegal we're like okay with it you know what i mean so why are we not okay with this you know <laughs> uh i don't think the release of like a, a document was a good idea and i don't think that this is pedophilia whatsoever anybody well, trying to like that is it, dishonest. it's like literally cannot be pedophilia like technically because pedophilia is like prepubescent children a 15 year old is generally not prepubescent unless i don't know they're on fucking hormone blockers i don't know <laughs> like it just can't be um i i do think that this but is a little strange be like hebophilia but again they're within an appropriate age range uh that i mean i don't think that this is like a completely normal dynamic sure and i can yeah, kind oh, of sort of agree with that oh, but you wait maybe. just real quick i promise i'm not doing this just to, like oh, i feel like it's somewhat I'm, I'm normal but like how old are you just like gonna 17 okay okay that's cool okay that's fine um okay um, i'll say this and yeah, maybe it won't i hit. think it's a bunch of young kids who think that this is wrong because that's what they get fed on the internet and that's why they were canceling the guy i don't think that they were poorly intentioned is john swan in the chat yet can you guys tell me i have no fucking idea what these people sound like as hard but i'll just say this i think a lot of stuff that happens in high school can be really weird there's just, it's just it's like a really fucking difficult time in everybody's life because high school is crazy there's all sorts of shit going on mentally hormonally relationship wise people think about leaving for God. there's like so much going on so i can agree that like maybe there's Aiden some stuff projects? that's like kind of weird okay. but like everything is weird it's like the first time you guys are like fucking each other it's the first time you guys are trying relationships thank you for like being everything here, is like I new and crazy you. But I just feel like it's a little bit crazy to take something that's like a little bit weird and then tell, blow it up on the Tell air. me when John's on because I want to know what his, what, how he sounds when he talks about this because so far these guys sound like they think that what they did was right and they didn't realize that they were being stupid, which is like understandable. Because they're, I mean, like basically they've been groomed by Twitter to think that this is inappropriate. Isn't it crazy? Like, you know, <laughs> it's kind of true. You know what I mean? It's kind of fucking true. Internet. Because it's kind of like it's how you destroy okay, people's cool, lives. Thanks, like, yeah. I, I don't yeah I, I can agree with you to an extent I don't know how much I agree with a document being released um, okay. but yeah I just wanted to clarify I, I didn't know if you thought it was like completely normal uh, I was just saying I don't think the dynamic is like yeah but you could just be like hey I don't think this is normal you should stop the behavior or something or tell her that you don't that, she, that you don't think it's appropriate and uh, say that she should stop or like whatever uh, is that I don't normal, think it's like but... super abnormal like if somebody told me uh, about this no. in high school I'd be like eh, okay that's kind of weird I think like, honestly whatever. having it on the internet makes it weird because like. I think not knowing someone in real life and start like starting this nah, feels I don't think like so. to me. Personally. I think it feels weirder on the internet because like a lot of them are like very much like uh, encompassed by fucking Twitter morals. I think is what it is. <laughs> sure, but like so I guess like my John's original the question then, I don't dude. know how far you, or how much you've been involved in like releasing this or anything. Like did anything like predatory actually happen? Like did she ever say no or stop or anything like that? Did any anything like that ever happen or has this just been uh no, well, no, but... Okay. Oh, no, no, I was asking the other guy if he had a <laughs> no. oh, oh, so did she... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to say no, uh, but I'm not... I'll, it's much sure. more of a not If you're not sure, then, like, even if it had happened, why wouldn't you get that information? Like, it makes no sense. Like, you you should know that information. So that's the first question you ask. How old were the ages is number one? And then number two, what did he do that made it predatory? Those are the two questions you ask. Sure. Okay, the other story that I was given from the other... are you? Can I call you both guys? I don't know if we're, like, you're yeah, 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 okay. yeah, no, the, the other guy was telling me that... um. It sounded like she started to like him. She was flirting back. It was all consensual. She never said no or like stop or like give any indication that she was uncomfortable. Um, I saw one DM that where she explicitly said she wasn't uncomfortable. I don't know if that was real or not, but she was like, oh yeah, like I'm not uncomfortable or anything. So it seems like if he was getting like all the signals from that, then to come out later and be like, oh, well, this wasn't okay. Kind of just sounds like she changed her, she like had different feelings about him, but then like wanted to destroy him afterwards. It seems like super fucked. Why? Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't attest to uh, what was going through her mind. I also think another factor in this So is wait, was somebody telling her that it was wrong? She, cause I would not doubt if it was like, she thought everything was fine, and someone's like, you know, this is really wrong. You're getting groomed. You're getting taken advantage. She's like, oh my god, am I? Like, it's crazy how you can legitimately, like, suggest to someone. Like, people don't really, I don't think people understand this, but this is one thing that therapists can do, and I know we, these people are obviously not therapists, but a therapist can suggest to somebody um, that they have a trauma that they don't have, and they can actually generate that trauma within them. It's fucking insane how crazy, like, the, the mentality, like, minds work. When you when you look at somebody and you trust them enough, they can say like a lot of things to you, and you'll like, just believe it. I mean, that's kind of the foundation of abusive relationships. And so, like, if you're somebody who's a 15 year old person, and like you have like an 18 or 17 or 18 or 19 year old sitting there, like, convincing you, like this is bad, this is bad. Like sometimes it makes you like 
oh my god, is it bad? <laughs> because, oh my, is this really that bad? Carson, that basically happened to, like, Carson. Everybody told Carson what he did was bad, and so he fucking took, went, went off the internet. It's insane. Like, th th it's fucking insane. Um, you can legitimately, like, you can tell somebody, I, I know that's crazy, and it doesn't happen all the time, but, like, you can legitimately instill a trauma into somebody if you, like, if you are capable enough. Um, if they are, like, if they're, I don't want to say stupid. <laughs> If they are like ignorant enough, which a fifteen year old would be, like they're not educated in general, like they're just they're young and they're not super like intelligent. And that's not like a shit on them. They're not like emotionally into or you know. Um, you know, you can you can like fucking legitimately like instill like a fucking trauma, bro. It's crazy. It it it's a thing. It's a real thing. And so like it might have been totally fine to her, and then somebody was like, It's not it's not fine. And then all of a sudden he's like, Oh shit. She's like, Oh my god, this is terrible. Is like the vulgarity of the messages. I know that doesn't yeah. make it like worse. I just think that in combination with like the the kind of weird dynamic. Uh, well, but vulgarity. I, guess, I mean, if they're sexting, sex and all of that is vulgar, right? It is. It's like that's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. What is sexting between a seventeen or an eighteen year old and fifteen year old look like? It's like, oh, I want to kiss. You want to kiss your your vagina? Oh my goodness! It's so, like I just feel like it's so childish comparatively, like the things that I say, but. <laughs> <laughs> or like actually adults. I'm just like I'm just like it's about like the vulgarity like how vulgar gonna be like uh you know uh like by comparison yeah. but, so I mean like, I, that's I, like that's not it's not vulgar it's, it's literally sexting it's gonna be vulgar right it's not like yeah. you're yeah okay yeah that's fair enough I just think that's why it caught people's attention yeah. um okay. but yeah I, 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 I agree fucking, with you like, they feel creepy especially from like to a 15 year old well I would agree to a 15 year old but it's but from, from an 18 year old yeah. <laughs> okay. right? like Okay, so I just got. I was just informed she wanted it to continue. Okay, uh, yeah, I was just informed of that. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Wait, that. what do you mean? She wanted the the release to continue or the relationship? You probably you should probably should have known that before you move forward. This that she wanted it to continue. It's a pretty big deal there. Yeah. Should to continue. The relationship to continue. Okay. So that attests to your point. I'm just saying. I was just informed of that. Who, okay. Well, like who? Jesus. Well, like who's? Why? <laughs> Whose idea was this? I don't know. I wasn't involved in releasing the document, but uh, I'll this, this I'll uh probably head out because Matt. This, I can't really test to the actual document itself. I'm just testing okay. to the dynamic, but it was good talking to you. See ya. Incredible. Do you have anybody else, any other document fortifiers yeah. that want to come in and support? I'm okay. Hold on. Fuck. I'm sorry. My demeanor is like, because I'm super detached. I'm 33 years old. So I'm like very far removed. Yeah, no, so I'm like awesome. kind of laughing, but it's not really funny. It's actually like super fucked up. Like this is arguably like one of the worst things you could probably do to somebody is like okay. try to destroy their life with something like this. And then like, I know that, um, there's a lot of conversations about like, you know, like what does it mean to bully somebody or what does it mean to stand up for somebody or like how do we act like good people? And I think that the, this is kind of the measure of it, right? Like, do you support behavior like this or, you know, do you just stand by and watch it happen or worse, like propagate it and support it? And it seems like a really bad thing. The Zoomer panel okay. well. Uh, I'm just seeing if someone else wants to come mm -hmm. on who's a... Yeah, sure. sure thing. No problem. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I do get what you're saying. I don't know. I, like when I saw the DMs, though, like fucking... Obama. Just, I felt fucking no gross as well. Like he was, um, I mean, he was comparing himself to like other people in like the like small fucking commentary community. He'd been like um, out and called like groomers and shit, like shrugging it off, if, like same age gap, uh, which I feels what? weird. And saying like, uh, hang on, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. what was he? What was I just saying? Fuck. Um. Yeah, yeah I, 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 like, if we were to go through all these messages, I'm sure I could find some that are kind of, like, maybe a little bit weird or, like, super vulgar or something, but, like, again, like, is there something in here, like, worth, like, trying to destroy somebody's life over that yeah. Bunk wants in? Um, Bunk, well, yeah. yeah. Yo. Okay. What's Hi. going on, lady? Hey, how you doing? All right, um, so to my understanding of the situation, it's the risk between 18 and a 15-year-old, right? So uh, I'm assuming that, like, one person comes in, says the same, like, pretty dry factoid that it's a 13, or excuse me, a 15, 15 18-year-old, and then Destiny just goes, like, who cares? And then they go, oh, I guess you're right. And then the next person comes in, and he says the same thing, and then somehow I guess they hope that this is magically going to, <laughs> like, somehow change his mind, uh... Right. I was told by the person or the person at, in the call earlier. It was mentioned mm -hmm. that was a call person. They wanted to continue. Um, these were the things that I directly DM to Aiden. I believe you brought them up on stream, correct? Yeah. Wait. So then, why did this? Where did this document come from? Um, Hold on. I wait a second. That, right. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're wearing call person created it. Like, why, why did the document progress to getting made and released? What's so, are you asking me? Yeah, I'm curious about like how the document like progressed to being released. Okay, so basically the like the girl came to the friends and Hold on, wait, like, wait, wait. I have to ask a really important question. Okay. So the girl wanted it to continue. Did the guy want it to stop? Yeah, but I, he, he he started like flying mm -hmm. with her afterwards. 
like after he said stuff like but he said like he wanted to stop multiple times but kept going wait hold on fuck i'm sorry i'm very american and your bonger is hard to understand sometimes no, no it's that's not your fault it's my fault so wait did, did the guy want to but, stop like having like a sexual relationship thing or so there were times where he said he wanted to stop but then like a day later or whatever he started off again was it him starting it or her starting it? It was him starting it. He ends the guys all the conversations. Uh, sounds like your typical fuckboy and behavior, where you 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 talk to them and then you're like, I gotta stop doing this afterwards, you know, because you're you know once you bust the nut, and then uh, you go back to it don't you, when your pee pee's hard again, you know, typical fuckboy behavior. Shit, that's the biggest crime here. Teach these young men not to be fuckboys. Fucking embarrassing, you know. Get your get your dick straight, you little fuck, you know. Um, Okay. Wait, was John Swan associated in the creation of the document? I've been told by multiple different people John Swan had some involvement in the creation yeah, uh, John of the document. Yeah, John was involved. Well. All right. Um, well, you know, to his defense, so my he, in his defense, he's a bird. He doesn't really understand, like, human social, like, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't really understand, like, uh, you know, human nor social norms. So. I'm in a situation right now. Mm -hmm. all right, oh, wait, real quick, for here. reference. Yeah. What, um, just because yeah. I'm getting, how old are you for all of this? 19. Okay, gotcha. All right, an adult. Uh, all right. I'm just fucking, yeah, I'm dude, sorry, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a uh, I'm big brain, okay? Uh -huh. I literally know everything at this age, right? Gotcha. I'm quite literally ready Probably. to take on the world. That's I understand good. how everything works. No, yeah. Um, so my understanding of the situation right now is that it was told to um, John Swan, Emma, like this group of friends, right, from mm -hmm. Liz, and that they all worked on the creation of this document together, and then it was released by Haha. -ha, yeah. Is this correct? Yep. Okay. So was the did the girl request this document was made? Was uh, she, like, she... involved in the creation of the document? Yeah, to a high degree? Was. Yeah. Well, obviously. Okay, know. so like this, did, was it like still going on at the time, or did this relationship end? She kind of decided, hey, that's a little bit weird. Right, he was still trying to talk to her, and she was like, like, like after what's that? up with the weird mini Destiny? Like, what's who, who is this guy? Why is he? <laughs> like, he's just saying the same things Destiny. He's like, what the fuck's happening? Here? No, no, he, he was still like, he was still mashing out like instigating the messages, and she was sort of like playing along. She didn't know what's there. Okay, here's what I oh, want to really know. This is an important question. Why was this document made? I, I, I well, I think there's a degree as well because the guy like made videos on people who did like similar things and called them out so so like called out who like are we like comparing people... this guy to like onisan or like no 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 no, no. like um Onisan. Like, you've not heard of vexa stuff i've probably not heard of she... any of this video no you have not Ooh. she was <laughs> you fucking that bunk um I so fuck up. she was uh basically she was called out for like basically doing the same thing as this guy right um Okay, uh, no, he's... no, this is that's not true. The problem with the Vex says stuff was that it was between an 18 year old and like 14 year old at some time. It was also 18 and 15. Right? It was also 18 and 15. Well, there's 18 and 15 was in there as well, but that was not just the whole situation. No, no, but he also, he also said, forward. no, 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 one I didn't of them say was that. 14. I didn't say that. I'm okay. saying he called her out for like 18 and 15. Like, that was one of the things he called her out for. He said that was a like disgusting age gap. Uh, he's also danced people like Pyrocynico, like, set back, like, almost the same. Bro, like, I don't mean to be, like, uh, this, like, jaded, uh, like, person, but, like, the, from, based on, like, the actual, pro like, dude, when we talk about predators on this platform, a lot of them, like, bro, Fleming Cameron, in his 30s, using Craigslist to talk to, like, fucking children, like, he, he's like, yeah, I make sure that they don't have good family lives, so I don't get the fucking cops don't get called to me, and I don't really care about the age, he basically doesn't care about the ages, and as long as they look mature, like, this is a, uh, oh yeah, this fucking 45-year-old MILF called me over to have sex with her, and then, like, we fucked in front of her 16 and 17-year-old daughters, and then we forced him to fuck me, like, these are fucking predators, like, what the, 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 what they're talking about is, like, some inappropriate behavior, but, like, fucking predator, dude, like, it's crazy, internet, like, what the fuck? It's just like such a different feel. Maybe I'm just like partially jaded, but holy fuck, it's fucking crazy. Like edge gap. Can I just curious uh, if I ask you both a question? If I ask you yep, guys what sure. grooming means, do, do either of you think you have a good understanding of like what grooming is, or could you? Explain um, to I me? think I probably have a good understanding of what grooming means. No, no, grooming no, is the establishment of a certain relationship in the game. Hold on, I'm he said the eighteen year old sounds like an abuser. Wait, 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 I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Hold on, I might just cut off for a second. Okay. Okay. Can I say that again? Yeah. Can you repeat that again? Sorry. All right, so my understanding of what grooming is, and this is the way that I define it, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I'm like 100% on the same page as you, is that it's kind of the erosion of barriers in between like what is sexual, what isn't, uh, between one person who has like more power within a given relationship than another. Like kind of what? use naivety to kind of break the dip, like break down the uh, differentiation between um, normal friendly conduct and sexual mm -hmm. conduct. Yeah, that's actually a really, that's really close, but basically it, yeah. I would say that like grooming usually starts off intentionally a little bit bad, but- Yeah, it, like grooming is like an intentional methodical manipulative process to set somebody up for sexual exploitation. Like that's how I would define it. Um, I, I, maybe I just didn't understand what the fuck that guy, that kid was saying. <laughs> I just didn't understand anything that he said. Maybe that's just me, but okay. It can sometimes change in the middle too. So like somebody might say like, Which hey, you're going to be a mentor in front of you, blah, blah, blah. And then they slowly Ooh. kind of push it more sexual when you've misrepresented it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty close. Okay, gotcha. Just make sure. Um, right. so yeah, I was, I was curious, I guess, when, cause I read like the short document, I haven't got through all the DMs yet or anything, but like, are there, um, 
like, is there any evidence that that happened? Or is there any evidence of like any predatory behavior or him like ignoring any signs to stop or anything like that? Or is it just, because right now, I hope this isn't the case, but just to give you like my impression, right now it just kind of sounds like things were stopping and then the girl got kind of mad and she was like, okay, no. well, fuck it, I'm gonna drop a dock on it and ruin the, this guy. The guy was still damning her like up until today, I believe. Well, but I think the question that's being asked here what? is, was there like an indication that, hey, I want this to stop and it continued on? Yeah, because if there's not, like, what the fuck was the guy supposed to do? I don't know. That's fair enough, I guess. That, that, that's a fair point. I'll take that. I mean, who who put the idea in her head that she needs to fucking come forward in the first well, place? I, it's, well, but now we've released, like, huge documents. There's a little bit less. The, the, way, <laughs> the way I see it, these are creepy messages between, like, a guy who, like, knew what... Well, so, yeah, like, let's be... The idea if they saying. were both... Let's say they were both 18. They're not creepy okay. anymore, are they? Or are they still creepy? I think the messages are kind of creepy. Okay, when you say creepy, what do you mean by creepy? What is it? How's it creepy? Like, oh, hang on. Let me go up. Like... Hey, I want you to rub the, like, the head of my penis with your balls or something. Like that. That's how creepy. It might be gross, but... So I'm being told from certain people in the friend group that it was... That Cammy stopped a week ago. Is that true? He's... he's like, the guy saw, like, sent screenshots of him, like, DMing out, like, yesterday. Okay, who cares? Is this, is this, like, a thing? I'm being told, like, this by multiple different people. So I'm just, oh, like, trying to verify. I think... Okay, so I think what happened... He said he wanted to stop the sexual shit, but he, like, carried on DMing her and, like, flying with her. Okay. That doesn't make it wrong. I'm curious what, like, the carried on looks like, but... And let me find it. Wait, were these DMs sexual? Because you just kind of said DMing. So were these, like, sexual DMs explicitly? Or really just, like, uh, unless she said stop. Like, between friends? Like, oh, the recent ones. Of these. Yeah, the recent ones. Yeah. Um... And Destiny's overleveled, bro. It's fucking know. cheater. Okay, so, uh, like, after, like, this is a message from, like, today where, like, uh, he's going out like Kian, chill. Right. Well, I mean... Um, okay. Good morning. Hello. Oh, thank you for... Well, that is pretty creepy. When somebody up. says hello to me, I'm like, wow, creepy. Stop. Doing okay, so I just woke up, and now I'm just bored. So what are you doing? No. It's only it's only creepy to say hello to somebody if you're ugly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you say, hey, how you doing, girl? And she's like, mm, you're ugly. That's creepy, because you're ugly. You know what I mean? How much to be honest just sitting in bed what about you i'm just laying down in bed it's kind of cold to be honest if you're cold i don't know it just kind of feels cold right now i'm so i'm hugging my favorite stuff animal right now um wow. i feel not so cold but right now, i feel but like i feel like we're we're invading privacy by just reading this message like this is just like fucking cringe teenager oh. oh i'm cold oh why are you cold i'm oh i don't know but i'm hugging my favorite squishmallow i have squishmallows behind me i'm hugging it i'm so cold bro this feels like i feel bad for this girl that i mean like, it feels like she was pressured to release it I feel bad for both of them. Like, bro, like this is so fucking cringe. Let kids be cringe in private, you know? Uncomfortable? Uh, hmm. Is it like cute? Yes. So <laughs> I don't know if that's like explicitly sexual, like like super no, explicitly sexual. I'm, I'm not saying it's sexual. I'm saying like a it's still like. Why is it creepy? I'm not. I, I said it wasn't sexual. Like, okay, we need to get close. I need to get close to the source. Why? Okay. Now this document sounds really vindictive. What are we doing okay. here? What's going on here, guys? Okay. Oh, it feels like we're um, roasting a dude's life for nothing. I don't know. I'm cool with Cammy. I like. I just I learned cool stuff that was like, dropped. Um, it doesn't really matter if you're cool with them. It's just like <laughs> what matters is he's getting fucking named. And it's like, okay, wait. If all you guys are cool with him, why didn't you guys stand up for him when this fucking doc is going around trying to? Destroy I just him. learned about this. Got, like, this is evidence. me. No, okay, okay. This I just learned about this. Uh -huh. This is my first public comment on it. This uh -huh. is me defending him coming on this stream. Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn. Relax, yeah. Come and I'm stay. fine with Cammy. Like at the worst, it's just like a little bit of a weird relationship. But like, well, who cares if you are? Oh, I guess they are. I guess Destiny's argument is like, who, why are you guys trying to trying to cancel him? That's what it looks like. You're trying to cancel him since he didn't do anything fucking wrong. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be. This is cool. I'm fuck? gonna be like, oh my god, this is like evil. Oh my, holy shit, right? Mm -hmm. oh, That's shit. my perspective. Oh, shit, I'm I don't know. I'm not gonna stop being friends with Cammy for this. Oh, good. Is there anybody else in the friend group that is a crush on the girl? <laughs> oh, that sounds like a big yes. Why did you laugh? I'm not even a part of the friend group. I just this think it would be really funny what if it the was. Fuck? Wait, who, which one laughed? Thing. This, this oh, fucking cow is. flies, dude. Holy oh, shit. You think, okay. Damn, I you guys. So. The problem is that you guys are like. In high school, we used to fight with like knives, but now you guys fight with nuclear weapons, okay? That's what social media is, okay? You guys are fighting with nuclear <laughs> weapons now. Sorry, I know I'm being a little over I personally have only ever dropped one document, and it, was, uh, it wasn't even explicitly in defense of somebody. So, Jesus. It was just kind of like a recap of a situation. I don't know, dude. It just kind of seems really weird to me, because recently there was also a different document, completely like separated from this community, like on a 13 and a 14-year-old. What? It's like, they were oh, engaging in... Yeah, yeah, so the that, Woodpecker really one. I, I talked to Woodpecker, I took to Woodpecker, I'm like, dude, this is like four, this is 13 and a 14-year-old, right? Do we that really one, need to put this out on like the internet? Like That dude, one was we, fucking cringe. Like, right? if anything, the pair should be involved in this, not like the internet. The internet should top in as like a close second, like, oh, don't worry, okay? Daddy Internet's here to help you guys figure out what your relationship's going on. It just seems so weird. We like just drop a document, at, like the slightest insurrection, you know? I'm gonna drop a document. Well, do we have any other document defenders? 
I'm gonna damn real quick. Sorry. Okay, yeah, no rush. I'm dropping uh, dropping a document on uh, on Joe Bartolosi uh, about he how he's um, more handsome than me and how it needs to stop. I don't know. Um, I think we, we just inherently so disagree. I mean, where I come from, to be fair, like, if you were 18 oh. or 15, you'd get fucking beaten up. Like, uh, 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 mm, uh mm, listen, not for nothing. This guy doesn't sound like he could beat anybody up in the first place. What the fuck are you talking about? Where I come from, if it's an 18 year old and 15, we beat those guys up. We, we, we pull up in our paddy wagon. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're going to beat him up? Bro, you probably got beat up in school. What's kind of like tough guy bullshit are you fucking pushing, pushing here? Yeah, we beat him up. <laughs> what are you talking about? We throw our protractors at him. <laughs> I don't know if he's stupid, but, but okay. I don't know. I don't know the fuck you live, but that sounds like a very dangerous place. I, I don't want to get out of there. Yeah, it's just a, a f different culture. Like, I think fucking... Uh, sorry, what culture know. is that? I, I think we just... Was that England? The age of consent is like 16 there. Are you fuck What fucking culture are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Okay, shut the fuck up. What the this dude? Like, listen, I get. I I literally said I find this to be uncomfortable. Like, I don't think it's appropriate. Like, for my personal, and I would advocate for people not to do that. But like, I think I'm gonna. Oh, if we beat people up, shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? This is. Well, I guess that's what you're doing right now. Where you come from is the internet, and you're you're supporting this document to beat this person up. It sounds like this person is absolutely like complicit in the pushing of this. Like, they think it's inappropriate. You know, they might not think uh, that it's like the worst thing in the world, but they certainly think it's inappropriate. So they that, but it seems like they're fucking pussyfooting around it. It's like, well, I guess, well, you, I guess it's okay. But like, well, we beat people up in my town. What town do you live in? Uh, the, you know, uh, I don't know. The online world, Twitter. You know, disagree. Like, well, I'm not I saying that it can't disagree. be like a little bit weird, right? Like, mm -hmm. it, it, it can be. It absolutely can be. It's not like something that's like, oh yeah, this is like 100 the most. Normal. But like, I don't know if it was like so weird that it's like, like it seems like one of those things. Like I'm thinking back in high school, like if a so if a senior was taking a sophomore, it'd be like, it would not be like everybody does that. But I wouldn't. You give him a dirty look. You'd be like, "Yo, Jonathan's fucking annoying. We don't really like Jonathan." You know what I mean? That's the the energy typically. You. I mean, like, oh my god, predator rape is horrible. Like this person's life needs to be destroyed. That's what I'm saying. But there, it doesn't seem like there's much of an in between. I, like my biggest question for what I don't understand is that like if this was weird or bad or needed to stop, why didn't the girl say so? Or why didn't any of the other people involved say so? Why would she keep stringing him along right to the very end and then drop like a nuclear weapon document to destroy his life? That just seems like insane to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Um, um. I think just again, like in my eyes, I mean, Aaron, like the UK college is um, like Cam would have been in co like university or college or whatever, oh, uh, and she was like starting high school, I believe. Oh shit! I fucking forgot. I forgot about these stupid fucking United Kingdom motherfucking British pieces of shit. University, to my understanding, you start at sixteen, so they're like, "Oh, he's in fucking college, right? He's in university, which is just college over here, like whatever." So I'm thinking that like this guy's eighteen years old, he's out of fucking, he's out of like high school, he's in college, he's doing his thing, he's talking to this girl, bro. It's the same fucking thing as being in high school. We just do it a little bit differently. It's not really that big of a difference. Shut the fuck up with that shit. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I hate you, motherfuckers over there. In your fucking your, your your crumpet eating piece of shit area. God damn it, you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> University eighteen. Are you sure? College is sixteen, bro. Okay, hold on a second. Let me look into that. Um, when is university in England? Is that good? In the UK. When does it start? Are you sure? Beans on toast, yeah. And did I get the did I get the names wrong? College is sixteen. Are you sure? I'm so confused, bro. Are you guys sure? Are you people from England sure about what you're saying to me right now? I fucking hate your culture. It confuses the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Okay. All right. So whatever. Either way, I don't care. But <laughs> okay. So college is from 16 to 18. You're a Brit. God damn. Okay, that's probably why you... Bro, I'm up at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. Of course you guys are from fucking some other country. There's no way that you're... There's no way that, you, like, my fucking American viewers are up right now. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Like, She's 14 I, going I'm, on 15? That's how late you guys start high school in Bongerland? No way. Come on. Uh, we start high school in... Um, or do you only do three years of high school? No, no. We do... Um, we start high school at 10. At 10? 
10 or 11. Oh, uh, you guys have like different definitions oh, for your school. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. But it's primary and secondary. Uh, All right, who cares? Yeah. Fuck your culture. I think yep. the point though is is like that Cammy's at like a high school age, right? It's kind of like it's, it's not that like unusual of a relationship. It's, it's not like some crazy shit that everyone's gonna drop. We're gonna, like, we're gonna drop survive. Stuff you guys. Like obviously, I'm probably in agreement that it's probably not something that I, I'd say like should happen. Like oh yeah, I'm totally in favor. Like every single 18 year old should be dating like a 15 year old. That's like a great thing that we should enforce, right? But like document level is just kind of weird to me. I don't know why we have to like drop a document. It's not that big of a deal. Well, like, it's uncomfortable. It's not that big of a deal though. It's and the document. slightly weird happens. My running theory right now, without knowing anything and speculating and irresponsibly, is uh, I feel like somebody had a crush on her that wrote the document. To help her uh, separate not... herself from the guy, and she's gonna. <laughs> now that they've nuked that, now he's clear for takeoff. Wow. Um, I'm gonna disagree with that personally. But... Okay, we're bringing another that, doc defender. That's the guy. That's the guy. He's the crush. <laughs> um, um... There's no shortage of stupid people in the small commentary community. Surely you can find something. No. Well, who are the people True. that made it? Where are they at? How did you um, get saddled um, with yeah, like release? Why did you release it? <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, I keep acting like you're just like a uh, innocent standard by or uh, um, standard by. Not standard okay, by. so I'm being told to bring in Harley oh, TBS. Is, uh, no, 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 I can't bring Harley. Don't bring in Harley. Why can't I bring in Harley? Bring them in. I feel like I feel like this is something that Harley would hardcore defend. I feel like I feel like this is a Harley thing. Well, who else made it? Who like? I don't know who I don't know okay. exactly who all made it. I'm being told a lot of people in the friend group, including John Swan. Um, Where's John? Who's John Swan? Why do I keep hearing his And Harley just DM me. I'm good. Okay, so Harley is Harley does not. I'm, I'm, the, I'm oh, asking. Hey, Harley, Harley, Harley took the right. I mean, listen, that's probably the right choice at this point. You can't look like an asshole. Um, yeah. What's coming? I'm so sad. Okay, I'm trying right now. Okay. Sorry, just give me a second. Fucking... I'm not involved, and their opinions don't reflect my own. Okay, so Harley. Harley is the one on Twitter too. going after Destiny. That's some of my YouTube chat said. Is somebody going after me on Twitter? Oh no. Um, Harley TBS. Uh, I have how no can idea. you do? I thought I Destiny was permanent. I thought Destiny was banned on Twitter, guys. I've been suspended from Twitter so many times. I got suspended yesterday, so I have no Why? idea what's going on on Twitter. Guys. He doesn't want to stay long. He just wants to clarify. Okay. Huh? What's up, John Swan? Oh, here he is. My name is like brought up here like a few times. What's going on? That's oh man, John. I just want to let you know, brother. You got you you got the fucking you lost the genetics lottery when you had when you were fucking given that voice, brother. I feel so bad for you. I don't I don't even I don't even blame you for trying to cancel somebody for this because you you lost that lottery, dog. You got a hard struggle in life, brother. God damn. March twenty okay. eighth. Okay, so like uh, last month, and then it continued for weeks. Gotcha. Okay, so it seems like everybody was chilling on the up and up, and then out of nowhere, it's like time to drop a doc to like. Ruin this because life. like behind the scenes, I told one of my friends about it, and mm -hmm. they're like, "That's bad. Why didn't you say anything uh, yep. before?" And I'm just like, "Is it really that bad?" It's like I was confused. Sure. Okay, that's fair. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh... Well, damn. I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to. I feel like um, I have one more tweet from Harley. Harley sent me this tweet specifically around. If that's okay. With how much? How really... is how is there another like? There's a while of this left. How the fuck are they like? already it sounds like they're at their conclusion what's left they like to talk to harley i don't think any of you guys are like the problem here i think somebody like harley's the problem but i wish i was the problem that'd make me very important i don't i don't think he's like a danger i'll try harder next time yeah. um can i can i just give like a random can i say some random shit as a 33 year old and then you guys can tell me to fuck off or you'd like take it whatever <laughs> so, like, i mean if you really think about it guys i mean destiny is the predator here a 33 year old man hanging out with 15 to 17 like 15 year olds 19 year olds uh, and, and 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 17 year olds i mean who's the predator here Who's the real predator? Des I think Destiny is the predator here. Okay? So, I mean, guys. I mean, come on, guys. Like, because if you think about it, like, remember when he said those things about how he doesn't really think that, like, it's that bad for, for people, like, you know, for young people to be engaging with each other? Or is that Vosh? I don't know. But <laughs> who's the real predator? <laughs> this is, like, my, this is, like, my recollection from high school, okay? It's been 15 years, so it's been a while, all right? High school is like a very confusing, fucked up place, okay? Your bodies are going crazy. Your minds are going crazy. Hormonally, everything is insane. You're stressed about like trying to pass colleges and or trying to pass- It's kind of crazy because we're really putting a lot of energy into this, like giving all these excuses as to why it's like kind of okay, but I feel like it's not that deep. I mean, maybe maybe I've been just overusing that term lately. Classes to pick the right ones for college. You've got like parents. You're trying to figure out who the fuck you are because you're who, who knows who you are. It's like the most important sometimes. identity forming period of your life. All of this stuff is going on, and I guess one of the things that worries me is that like if you feel like you are failing, or if you feel like you fucked up a lot, or if you feel like you're not doing the right thing, that's totally normal. Every single person you talk to in their 20s or in their 30s will tell you that. that if you feel like everything's fucked in high school, that's totally normal. Everybody everybody has these feelings. Nobody goes through high school feeling like oh I got it all figured out. That's totally not ever happening. I don't figure it out. But the, the worry is that like out. things that used to be normal 
So dating a guy that's too old, sleeping with somebody you weren't supposed to, too you know, old. staying yeah, out too late know. drinking when you're like 15, 16, you're not supposed to, like these things, they happen, they shouldn't happen and they're dumb. But now we've taken like these kind of like normal high school mistakes and it feels like we're elevating them True. into an area where we're destroying people's lives over dumb shit that everybody's done. Every Everybody has gone through high school and fucked up. So I guess like that's the only thing that I kind of look at this and I'm a little bit, um, and, and I don't even blame, I don't even blame, um, I think Liz in here said it because it sounds like what happened was is you probably told a friend, I guess innocuously about what was going on. And then that friend has this, this concept in their head of like, oh my God, like that guy might be a predator. And I mean, you're 15, like who the fuck knows what you're thinking? You're like, oh shit, well maybe. And then you start having doubts. It's and then when you get enough people like around you kind of like making you question that, it's easy to think that some really crazy shit has happened. Well, nothing really has happened that's like super fucked up. And it doesn't sound like anything like really fucked up has happened here. Um, but yeah, the like dropping a dock on somebody is like insanely nuclear. It's like such a huge, like life, nuclear. potentially life changing thing. Sure. And I feel like, yeah, it's. It's so it's so much different because like in high school the the doc that we're talking about would be like messages in a friend group or some text and then people would talk you talk some shit and then you'd move on from it like very quickly because you move on mm -hmm. from everything in high school very quickly but you can't move on from the internet shit very quickly like the types mm -hmm. of things True. that you drop here and I hate that I'm telling you this because it's so sad but like the types of things you drop here are gonna last for your life so when there's like documents showing that you're a pedophile or groomer or whatever and you're like 18 now you actually have like potentially mm -hmm. severely fucked some of your life up for what is like pretty normal dumb high school shit and not even dumb because I don't think anything that fucked up happened here but yeah I guess that's the only. True, true. Yeah, that's the only um, thing I, mean, I, I think. Mm -hmm. It genuinely just boils down to, like, because where I'm from, like, high school is, like, 11 to, like, okay, 10 or 11 to 16. Uh, Cam is, like, college. Uh, he's I'm really trying to, like, justify the cancellation. Have, like, he would be in university <laughs> who's, uh, now. Who's this guy speaking? Why is he so adamant to justify this? Like, you're wrong, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Like, <sighs> I, 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 just, I feel like it's different personally. It's not, and I'm not disagreeing that, like, there I could be something, like, a little bit strange. Um, like I said, like, Well, yeah, we know it's strange, but this guy said that he, that he, this guy didn't say it was a little weird. He said we fucking beat people up who do this in my area. We're 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 tough in our area. We beat people up. It's like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? Like this like I can't encourage that fucking behavior. You can't encourage this guy, okay? It's crazy. It's like dating um, high school kids or whatever. Like it happens. Sometimes it's kind of weird. It's not like yeah, but like should like somebody's life be ruined over it? That's just kind of the angle that I'm looking at. Because like if I found out that like something leaked and you guys were talking to me, so like oh I think it's kind of weird. It's not good. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's 100 fair. But docs are like somebody raped somebody or like killed somebody's okay. dog or some yeah, shit. You know yeah, that's like true. it's like some yeah it's just big big shit. Yeah, like, yeah, that makes pills. sense. Um, I don't know. I, I guess it just wasn't like I think we just didn't know how else like. Say it. Uh -huh. well, um, just not I think a lot of the time people are really, really quick to like escalate shit on the internet. Everything on the yeah. internet is going to be like blown the biggest problem I fucking, in the world. Yeah. I hate the court of public opinion so mm -hmm. much because people are so incredibly fucking yeah. retarded. And they, there are people who will comment on documents without even having fucking oh, read them. Word, okay, bro. so whenever you put something out like uh, somebody with threats, I don't like that word. This and, and you're kind of like selling it as like, oh, this is a big. That's document. the guy who told it to write. Who, who to told it to write? It. It's just not going to be handled with like any level of nuance. People are going to sure. think like, oh, Cam is a terrible person, or like they're totally redeemable, right? I totally agree. I have very recent memories of high school. I did some ter like stupid fucking shit in high school, oh, right? Gosh. Although I mean, I'll be like, does. to be like, like empathetic, like for a, a lot of you guys, and I'm not trying to sound kind of saying I swear to God, right? For a lot of you guys, like this, these are like the biggest things that have happened in your whole lives. Like high school relationships <laughs> are the true. biggest things that have happened in your whole life, and they're like very scary, and like there's a whole bunch of shit right into it. So like I don't even necessarily blame you for treating it that way because it is like, and there's nothing wrong with that. But damn, the internet shit makes oh it crazy. God. But uh, I don't know. I've seen so many people get like documents dropped on them, and it just shit goes fucking wild. And then everybody looks back and it, it's like, wow, we were really fucking stupid. Everybody yeah. handled that situation in a really dumbass way, right? Uh -huh. It's like, I don't know how many times. How many times are we gonna drop documents before people realize it's a bad idea to do? You know? Oh, somebody yeah. left. Um, yeah, I'm guess so. Well, <laughs> all right. Does anybody else want to come in, or is there anything else that I don't? No. I don't uh, so someone else wants to come in real quick. If that's like fine. Sure. Yeah, whatever you want. I'm cool with that, whatever. Okay. Okay, so I've been getting sent this DM repeatedly. Um, Liz, can you confirm this is like real? Um, it's you yeah, this is real. The document. I've been sent this by like uh, Mr. Girl, like a bunch of different people. Um, like yeah, this, this is, is real. Uh, yo, dude, is this Destiny? crazy. No, this isn't Destiny. You're in a fake call. <laughs> this is all a lie. Yo, what's really, going on? Uh, so. Yeah, they, them three uh, gave me advice on to, to do it. Oh my god. And, uh, Who's the three dumb really fucks? Out. Gotcha. Wait. Swan came up with the idea of the dog. Oh, wait, John Swan. Wait, the guy that came in here and said that he, he was wasn't involved. In he was just in call. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, I see. Oh, dude, what a fucking pussy. Wait, it was his idea to create the doc, huh? Dude, what a dumb fuck. I, I genuinely question this guy's, uh, I genuinely question this guy's morals. Like, did, how old is John Swan? Do we know how old this stupid asshole is? John Swan, age. How old is this fucking idiot? Um, is he twenty? Hmm. Okay. 
So I think the person who just left when we heard the 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 the, the leaving thing, he's twenty, mm. bro. So this is one of those things where it's like, okay, the the biggest thing for me personally is truly, did John Swan actually think this was bad? Or did he just want to drum up controversy because, like, maybe he needed content or something, or he wanted to be a hero, you know? Because if he genuinely thought this was bad, I would go, okay. Like, you know what? You fucked up, and, like, you should publicly apologize for fucking up because you could have ruined this kid's life. Um, either way, you have to apologize. But, like, did you do it because you thought, like, hey, I fucked up. Like, I was, like, too fucking beholden by goddamn Twitter morals. Like, that would be totally fine. Um, or did he do it for the controversy, dude? Is he known to be a mischievous liar? Well, Jesus. I mean, I don't know if that's true. You know, I've never met the guy or talked to the guy. You know, I would hope that he that he was being genuine, even though he's wrong here. But the fact that he like kind of was like, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't have anything to do with it, and he dipped out means he knows he's in the wrong. So like, own it and move on. Like, it's so crazy because like, if he if he if this whole destiny thing came out and he was like, honestly, bro, I thought it was worse than it was. Like, I fucked up, and he took he owned it. I feel like people would have been like, okay. Fair enough. And they would have just moved on. They would have just moved on. But he's been caught over and over. Yeah, I keep seeing like the uh, the Twitter. I keep seeing the shit on Twitter where John Schwan, Schwan, you know, dude, sometimes you just need to fucking admit when you fuck up instead of trying to like backpedal. Be like, damn, bro. Like, I'm, I'm a stupid asshole and I fucked up. You know, so he joins the He said that he wasn't involved at all. Spicy. So, like, I'm. No. Damn, bro. This is no, just like, like, there's... This is just like I, having I, a dream, dude. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I didn't want to say anything because, like, he said that he wasn't involved. Okay, uh, John, but like, so he, okay, he like he was involved with the book, right? It didn't. Well, if it was his idea to make the one. document, I think a bit might be a tad understated. He mentioned okay. making a document. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah, he didn't mention making it. He didn't like write or anything. Well, he didn't write it. Well, but well, he was yeah. mentioning that you wanted to make the document is kind of a level of involvement, right? I would say. Is so. giving people the idea. Yeah, there's... Yeah, he gave me the advice. Well, by Twitter rules, he is 19 years old, and thus he is a fully fledged, responsible, mature, un uh, intelligent adult. And so, everything he does uh, is to be understood as him being a, an adult and mature, especially in the capacity of somebody who is like 35, for instance. Oh, well, I suppose that you came some for advice, and he just like yeah, hey, thank you for the yeah, he gave me the advice. Okay, who's the new person joined Yale? Was this somebody who wanted to say something? Or? Um, yeah, he wanted to say something. I don't know. Yale, I've seen Yale a few yeah, times. Yeah, I have something very important to say. Uh, Ooh, dude, what did you, you know? know what? Kemai is a big fan. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Dude, well, this is why we don't ask all commentary spurgs. Uh, Mr. Girl wants to be added, yeah. if that's okay with you, Destiny? Um, I feel like we're going to cover a lot of the same route, but we want to, sure. Um, sure, yeah, alright. Um, Mr. Girl, alright. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how I feel about Mr. Girl, man. Like, I, I, I've i watched a little bit of his stuff. Like, it's not even... It's like... It's interesting. Because I've watched some of his stuff. And it's not the... The, 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 the children's stuff is, is, like, already... It's a little suspicious. I, I think he gets a little bit of a bad rap. But I also think that he doesn't talk about these topics in a particularly, like, the proper way. And that's why he gets... He, like, he's intentionally antagonistic about... When it comes to, like, talking about, like, pedophiles and shit. And then he's like, well, why, guys? Why do you think I'm one? It's like, well, because you're talking like a fucking moron. But it's more of, like, the, the way that he carries himself when I watch the whole Britney conversation. It's just, like, a little bit... It's kind of entitled. It's a bit egotistical. And I, I also wonder why the fuck do you feel the need to be added to this call with destiny? <laughs> um, wh what is the what was the what do you feel like you could add? Only and the reason I asked you that is because it it seems less like I mean and it could be totally wrong. Like maybe this is just me misunderstanding, but it seems more like he's like oh me I know destiny as like a friend because you know I know destiny is like you know he's he got canceled and and whatnot or he got fucking hit pretty hard off Twitch and you know he, and he wants to kind of be in there just so that he can be in there. He's like hey, I want to I want to come in on the conversation and just to be in here so that like I could say I was part of it. But okay, maybe I'm just I, being like I guess dumb. like I I don't want to. It's not my place to tell you what to do or how to live your life, but like if I could impart like one thing that I would request, and again, I'm being very careful, it's not really my place to say it, but I feel like some sort of retraction or some sort of like, hey, like this was a thing, it ended, but like, because right now it feels like this guy's life is on a bad trajectory now with with the okay. document. Um, but I, I mean, I don't want to tell you how you should handle it, but like, damn, it because it, it just seems like it seems like nothing happened. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. I still think the messages were creepy. Yeah, they. Like, but I mean, they're sexting. They of weren't. course, they're creepy. Like, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Who's ever gotten like their sexting messages? You know, it's it's also creepy if like if your mom and your dad are sexting. It's creepy. You know what I mean? Like, it could be creepy. 
<laughs> I feel like creepy is like kind of a loaded word, though. It's like uncomfortable because you're not supposed to be able to see it. Like sex is supposed to be intimate. Okay, just because your mom does OnlyFans doesn't mean that uh, you know it's supposed to, that, that you're supposed to show it to everybody. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, like holy <laughs> shit! Like I'm 33, of my sexy measures get leaked. Like it's gonna be embarrassing. It's kind of like when people, like if anybody ever makes fun of you saying like, oh, well, when you flirt, it's awkward, bro. Everybody's awkward when they flirt. Like that's what it is, right? It's just really, it's just clenching your teeth and being awkward. That's what flirting is, dude. Fuck. No, no, not Colin. Don't fucking add Colin. <laughs> Christ. Yeah, can we hey not guys. add Colton? I, I do feel not like... add Colin. Fuck Colton. Oh, what's up, Mr. Girl? How you doing, my dude? Hey, what's man. Up? What's wrong with hey, Colton? Steven. What is what's he doing up, wrong? I just want to point out. Uh, wait, Liz, are you still here? Are you still talking? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, no, here. dude. You shouldn't have put Mr. Girl around this 15-year-old girl, dude. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you shouldn't have done it, bro. What are you doing, dude? Oh, God. No, guys. Don't do it. Tactor. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. All right. Okay. There's a kind of weird irony here where you didn't get groomed by Cammy. You got groomed by John Swan well, into writing this document. It might be the John. into a bunch of, a bunch of old. So, 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 and then he just he just lied to to everybody's faces, saying he was not involved when it was his idea, right? It, like just to confirm. It, yeah, it was been. his idea. He gave me advice. He told me like, I'll tell you what you should do: write a document anonymously, or. Uh, how much of it did you actually if I, if you could. So if I, this guy is a quest giver, but you can actually attack him. If I attack him, he can't hand the quest in. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. I ruined your hand, your quest turn in, bitch. <laughs> uh, now I can't leave the dungeon. Okay. I did. I gave them messages to like write in there. Yeah, but how much of the document did you write? I think she said originally not much. Yeah. Okay. So wow. he saw an opportunity. Yeah, they just and gave me some advice. He, he, he took the ball, he ran with it, and he uh, he wrote the document himself, basically, in your name. Well, did he? Did John write it? I thought there were other people involved with the writing. John didn't oh, write no, it. no, there were other oh, people. Uh, John just gave the advice. He didn't write it, but he gave the advice. Yeah. I see, I see. Mm. Well, what do you think? I believe. I gave I that was a really relevant piece of information to be left out, though. Well, this no, is, it's I not that it was... Really relevant no, hold on. Let's be clear. It wasn't left out. He deliberately lied about it. <laughs> but I remember when I asked initially. Well, lying he, can be an exclusion of information. Well, yeah, but do, do you remember when yeah. I asked, like, did you help with it? And then he, I think he laughed initially or something. It mm -hmm. sounded like yeah. the answer was yes. But I know, no, no, no. You asked, what you I asked say, that's a really deliberate. Oh, that's a uh, really important piece of information to be left out. That's you asked about him calling a 15 year old a file. <laughs> and so he's, oh, he's, 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 he didn't handle that well, so he's learning. He's, now it's 15 and 12, and he wouldn't call them a pedophile. Sure. But now and he's on he's on 18 and 15, he thinks that's pedophilia. So he's. No, he's no. That's, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, well, I just, before this gets any for, farther into that, remember, <laughs> like, this is all kind of like fun, exciting drama for you guys. Did he make a lot of docs? Dude who has the doc out is like. Yeah, it's 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 hard. I don't know. So I, I hope I get to talk to him later. True. So Liz, sure. can we can can you can we get like a final word from you on like what's your well, stance now? I don't know. If we should like push. Uh, yeah, like what? I, I feel. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> I understand why Mister Girl is saying that because like I could clear his name and I get it, but like also we don't. I feel like I feel like honestly, uh, this kid's reputation could get ruined. I don't think it will, based on like the way the commentary community is interacting. It's it's a positive thing, so he should be okay. But like, let's keep in mind that this girl, this is this is the trajectory. This is the trajectory of the guy. He's 18, she's 15. Not super inappropriate. Whatever. Then he gets his like whole like then then they come out with a doc, a bunch of people like you know, come out with a doc basically from her perspective, uh, saying that he's like a, a pedophile. Okay, that sucks, and that's really shitty, hundred percent. But then think about this girl's perspective. She's just like talking to some dude, normal teenager shit. Somebody like people around her, dumb fucking morons around her are like, You're being fucking groomed. And then, um, so then she's like, oh shit, I am. So I, I got to and then like, you should release a doc. Okay. And now her personal life is now up on fucking display for everybody. And then afterwards, after other people fucking basically coerced her into doing this, now we're just like, hey, oh, you got to come forward and come clean. And like, I get it. Like, I get it. Cause it's good for this guy. But it's like, holy fuck. Like you're pressuring a 15 year old girl. Like you're just like throwing around like a puppet. I feel like give her a fucking break. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. <laughs> It's like Jesus Christ, man! Give her, give her a break too. I feel like I kind of regret this. Yeah, I feel bad for her. Do you I... regret, like, in, in the way, like, a bunch of people are pressuring you to say you regret it, the same way you were pressured to say <laughs> the, the, the document in the first place? I like, don't. What, I don't know. Just like, what do you think? I... <laughs> Why are we pressing her so much? I feel so confused about it now. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. I don't, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think the expectations we have like a super solid answer and like sorting through all your feelings there, right? Because this is gonna be you, you were already confused about the initial thing, and now everything has gotten public and like a million times more confusing. So. I kind of feel like uh, I don't know how to feel about it. It's just so I'm so confused. Just let her give some time to, to just kind of relax. Give her time to just uh, chill. 
it's kind of stressing me out. Yeah. Do you have, um, for your, the John Swan guy, is that guy like part of one group of friends and then you have another group of friends? Or are they all kind of like the same group of friends? Uh, I wasn't really a part of like a group of friends. I went to someone else before that. They advised me to go tell Swan about this, and so I did. Mm-hmm. I, I just feel confused, honestly, because like okay. whenever I told mm-hmm. someone about it at first, they said that this was really yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Do, um, do you ever talk to your parents and about this kind of stuff, or not at all? No. Okay, that's fair. Like, not at all. Um, okay, th- yeah. this is just my suggestion is I feel like you should take some time, like an evening or even an hour or whatever. I don't know what you do to like think to yourself or meditate, but like think on like how do you feel about everything, like without other people screaming at you about it. Um, and then after you've I figured out, feel that, so confused. Yeah, I don't. You shouldn't. You're not gonna, like, you don't have to come to an answer here, right? This is stressful. You're in a group call with five people. There's like a thousand people listening. Like I don't expect that's not gonna happen here. But like later on, when you're when you don't have a ton of people to talk to, and your brain's like going to memorize are like take some time, chill out, think about what happened. Like how do you feel about everything? And then once you feel like you've figured your feelings out for that, write it down if you need to. I don't know, physically writing or typing something out can like help you like sort through your feelings. Once you've done that, um, try to figure out like what is the best thing or what's the most responsible way now to figure out like remedy the situation given that we've posted a huge document on the other dude who probably didn't deserve to have one published on him but um that would be my suggestion is because right now online you probably have like a million different forces pulling you in different ways yeah. um, because you've kind of become a, a a vessel for either people like me to tell you that you're doing the wrong thing or people like john to tell you that you're doing the right thing um, i think it's really important to spend some time on your own or with like a close friend not associated with this to kind of figure out like how do you actually feel about everything and then after that figure out like well, what do you want to do going forward like is there anything you can it do it sounds like based on what she said she's like oh i was talking to some people about it and they're like this is really bad talk to john about it so a bunch of people like i guess some john swan cucks were like um like john we got some information for you so you can you can be the you could be our hero oh my god i really have been looking for something like this i want to be the fucking hero here you know it's so funny destiny was very nice to it for john swan because uh john, I can't, why can't i say john swan correctly because at the beginning of the video if you if you remember he put a thing in there basically like an apology from john swan so like he's pro he he's short he's did that intentionally so that like this kid uh doesn't get as much heat i mean that's exactly what it is it's like a way for the and which i'm not saying is a bad thing at all i think it's like really nice of, of him to do that um but he did that so that this kid gets like a like a break people will be like okay the framing is like he realized he did something wrong you know what i mean um so do you to make the situation better or worse or do you care whatever i think that would be the best thing to do you also might want to talk to like a trusted adult in your life. So, you know, if parents counsel I would be, well, I, the only reason why I said be careful of that is yeah. because if, depending on the type of parent she has, it might be like I was talking to a guy on the internet and they're like, oh, <laughs> sure, we're going to call yeah, the police yeah, yeah. and now your life gets totally fucked. I don't want to tell right. you. Yeah, I, I feel, I understand what Mr. Girl's saying, talk to a trusted adult. I also feel like maybe just let this, like, bro, like let her just chill and figure out how the fuck she wants to deal with it because it's not super, it's something that's like, I think that the bigger issue isn't what happened between her and the guy. It's what's happening now that's really going to fuck her up. It's like, remember the whole B family thing? People were like, oh, that girl Gabrielle B is going to be traumatized because Killick talked shit to her brother about her on the internet. And I was like, no, that's not going to happen because it's not. You're not going to develop a trauma from that. Um, and then, uh, but then like the parents put it on full fucking blast on everything. Like that would be the traumatic part. Like not the incident itself, or the, the the getting put on blast. It's like, hey, you have to tell us everything about your life now. And you have to go, you know what I mean? Like that's what's like, putting somebody in front of like a thing. Or in this case, it would be going to like the fucking potentially going to the police or even just not having like a level of privacy or, you know, or, or like, you know, person, personhood to be able to like figure out how you may want to do it. I know she's young, obviously, but like she wasn't like fucking groomed or anything. So she could take a, a little bit of time to just figure her shit out, you know, so to, or like or do, a, to talk to your parents or not to talk to your parents, but like be careful with that um Ugh. yeah but i would say good luck with that yeah I, I plan on talking to cam later about this so cam was um the guy that released the document no no, no the guy who got the, the document, guy, the document, document yeah i, I uh, plan on talking to him wait that he was on the call earlier right is he still on the call no no no, no cam was not been on the call Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought the um, haha. Yeah, I don't know. If, okay, gotcha. I don't know if Cam. No, like, no, 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 no. The guy who the document is about is Cam. Oh, oh, oh okay. I plan on talking to him later, gotcha. so mm. that would probably because I, I don't know how to feel about this. Sure. It's yeah. Honestly, I think at this point they should just settle between the two of them, and like the rest of this should just die off the internet. I feel like too much public shit has been like exposed, and it's like not good. You know, everything that needs to be said is said. I don't think that she needs to go through like the stressor. Like being on this is enough of like a, a, a for her to be like almost like, uh, apologizing for it um, than anything else. You know what I mean? Like we don't have to. The fifteen year old doesn't have to be like the perfect fucking um, the perfect fucking moral center in this situation. You know what I mean? Adults weighed in on it, and you can kind of move on from that. She just needs to just like, chill. 
She, I don't think she needs to say a singular word anymore. I think she's good. I think this was enough for her fucking... She's fucking 15... Dude, I could not imagine how this would fuck me up if I was 15 years old engaging in this show. 15... Fucking 15-year-old, 15 dude? Holy shit. That's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. And they did in middle school and grade school. Like when you're in middle school and grade school, it's usually like fifth graders with fifth graders, sixth graders. That, that's how it was for me. But then when you get to high school, okay. now you can start to have all these people mixed up. I guess the thing that scares me or that's a little bit worrying is oh, that like- Oh, fuck. Um, I just changed the- oh, Dude, where were we? He's 14 going on 15. That's how late you guys start high school in Bongerland? No way. Come on. It seems like it was mutual. Like they were both flirting with each other back and forth. It, it, made a, it was, was late it 2020. 2020. It was Sorry, late 2020. Oh, what point was I at here? Fuck. Should be dating like a 15 year old. That's like a great thing that we should enforce, right? But. Like document level is just kind of weird to me. Okay, I don't know why we have to like drop a document. Yeah, who else is going to defend the document? Slightly weird happens. My running theory right now without. Oh my god! Hold on. Wait. Do you guys just hold on? I'm sorry. I'm getting information. John John Swan. You can correct me if this is wrong. John Swan is mm -hmm. a YouTuber. He's 20 now. I think last year. Okay. 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 I think we're close. Harley, if you want to see it. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, dude? Oh, we're at 47 minutes. You think? I'm um, fucking icon. Christ. Yeah, can we not add Colton? I, I do not like... add Colton. Okay. Oh, what's okay. up, Mr. Okay. Bro? How you doing, okay. my dude? Okay, hey, okay. Sorry. Figured your feelings out for that. Write it down if you need to. I don't yeah, know if yeah, physically writing or closer. typing something. Turned off on. Yeah, go for yeah, it. I really change. don't like this Harley person, but go ahead. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. A little too far <laughs> in. Something that's like, oh yeah, this is like 100% oh, awesome. Oh my but like, god, it did My again. suggestion. Now I is, see what that Because is. right now, online, you probably have like a million different forces pulling you in different ways um, because you've kind of become a a vessel for either people like me to tell you that you're doing the wrong and not associate you can do to make this trusted if depending on the type of parent she has it might be like i was talking to a guy on the internet and they're like oh <laughs> sure, we're gonna call yeah, the police yeah, yeah. and now your life gets totally fucked i don't want to tell right, you so to or like a, to talk to your parents or not to talk to your parents but like be careful with that um i think this is around we're just gonna leave yeah but i would say good luck with that oh, yeah I, I plan on talking to cam later about okay, this yeah 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 Cam's not better than right Cam. Oh, 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 okay. I plan yeah. on to him gotcha. later, so. Mm. That would probably be Because I, I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, this is just like, sure. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, confused. Because, like, there's so many people saying that you get the right thing and then the wrong thing. I just don't know how to feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Um. <clears throat> okay, well, did anybody else want to add anything in here, or? Yeah. Um, so Harley really wants me to read their tweet, if like that's something we want to end off on. Yeah, go for yeah, it. I tweet. really don't like this Harley person, but go ahead. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. So. That's funny. Uh, it says, wait, real quick, I for reference. A wait, 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 real quick, for reference. How old is uh, Harley? Harley, I believe, is 17. Okay, go for if it. If I'm not mistaken. So, <laughs> I'm under the belief that a three-year relationship between a 15-year-old and an 18-year-old is wrong and disagreeable. I do not want Cammy's life ruined. I want Cammy to correct this obviously uncomfortable behavior, uh, especially whenever he is aware that it was wrong, compared himself to other groomers. Um, mm -hmm. This is a followed up with, uh -huh. this is my entire take. Were those other people actually groomers, or were you just like making that prescription because everything's fucking grooming nowadays? I wonder. I don't want to be linked with it or anything else. Okay, so, <clears throat> I just as like a heads up, okay? Okay. I'm, I try not to use this strong language again, but I will. This person is lying, okay? If you wanted Cam to correct the behavior, why not just message Cam to correct the behavior? The yeah, reason sure. why you go public with documents like this is because something really bad is happening and there's no other option. There's no other way to stop it. So I, maybe you guys are a little bit young, but like when the Me Too thing started, the, the big reason why it was such a big deal was because there were women that for a long time had trouble holding certain men accountable and nobody mm -hmm. would help them. There's nothing they could do about it. Um, but it wasn't, it, it's not a first resort. Like the Me Too thing and like outing people online, that was supposed to be like a, all other options have failed instead of like mm -hmm. a, this is the very first thing we're going to do to try to ameliorate a situation. <laughs> so okay. if she yeah, wanted so the person to stop, I'm guessing it sounds like if you would have messaged him so like hey stop it probably would have happened but it doesn't sound is, like that was ever communicated you know yeah so the thing is though harley wasn't like involved in releasing the document it was out before harley gave commentary upon well it. that so might be the cares? case and that that might be true i don't know if it's right it might be, but the attitude that harley has is the type of attitude that pushes this type of really toxic stuff forward um again if harley thought something wrong was going on which is fine she can have that opinion and if she wanted it to stop which is also fine she can have that opinion then the first step is to like actually start telling people um like oh hey God. you need to stop this behavior and then if they don't then you escalate, right? And if then you tell parents, you get counsel, and if they don't do that, then you go to the police, and then if they don't do that, so then you go public. Okay, well, you know, this is our last resort, you know? Sure, mm -hmm. it's like a last dish effort, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the the first statement of like, I don't want to destroy anybody's life, that's what you're doing, right? It would kind of be like if like if I if I brought to school like my favorite like type of cupcake and it was my favorite cupcake in the world and I see somebody's about to go and take it and I really want to eat it and then I pull out my forty five and I shoot this dude in the head and I kill him. And I'm like, well I really didn't want to kill the guy, but like I really didn't want to eat my cupcake. It's like, okay, well there's probably like a <laughs> bunch of steps in between shooting him in the head 
um, and doing nothing that you could have done to make him not eat the cupcake, right? We didn't have to execute the guy, which is essentially what like a public doc like this. I don't right? know, Destiny. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, feel even like if, I would have executed all, him It sounds too. like this is going Cam's way in terms of like public opinion, but even so, it's just like, it, for Cam and Liz, it's just embarrassing and kind of traumatic to have your most private, intimate messages, um, you know, sent around by everybody and debated over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think, again, like, you know, for me at least, that's a different world view. Like, because... I, mean, I just like the high school context or whatever. Like, I don't know. That doesn't. Yeah, but even so, even with your. So, is it the F slurs coming soon? We've already heard the F slur, remember? They dropped the. The guy came in and said, oh, you're not whatever. And then they were like laughed about it and they moved on. You would have just ask them to stop. He's like, okay, hey, you should tell this person to stop, right? Okay. Yeah. I think. Yes. I, there's nothing wrong with your view, by the way. Like, even in high school, there are people that frown upon, like, up, I don't. I'm using words. I don't know if you guys have these, like, uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, like an upperclassman uh, dating a lower classman. Like, some people yeah. were weird about that. Some people were like, hey, you shouldn't, like, if you're a junior, you don't date freshmen. Or nobody should date freshmen besides, like, freshmen and maybe sophomores. Um, there, there are people that felt like that's not, like, a, that's not an invalid feeling to have, or it's not a wrong opinion to have. Um, but I just think that, like, dealing with it can be done before dropping documents online, you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, the only problem I have with that is like again, because again, I've been very consistent. Like I think I don't like the behavior. I personally wouldn't let like my, my kid do it if I well, I don't, I don't have a kid. I'm not gonna let them engage in this type of behavior. But um, based on what we've like displayed here, like the reason I don't like, I it it feels like I don't know. Dusty's maybe type tiptoeing around here because he says things like, um, okay, so. It's okay to have that opinion that you think it's wrong, and I think that's great, and I think it's a good thing to advocate against, really. Like, yeah, I advocate against this from, like, a social perspective. I think that's a great idea. But Destiny keeps saying, like, or he said, he's like, oh, you know, people released this doc because they had no other, like, excuse or whatever, or they had no other out, which makes sense. And then Destiny, before that, he goes on, like, this whole thing talking about um how like you know you have to go through your your other steps first right which makes sense but then he tells him it's like oh, okay it's okay if you have this perspective i understand but you you should approach him first but then like by this logic that you've displayed if they approached him and then he didn't stop the behavior then it would be basically justifiable for for them to drop a doc on it which is not like i think that it, what needs to be established is like i think it's inappropriate but like you understand that like it's not societally inappropriate and you shouldn't be trying to cancel somebody or frame it in a way that seems societally inappropriate and like weaponize the internet that's run by a bunch of dumb fucking kids um in order to ruin somebody's life over at worst a mistake you know like that's that's the the perspective i'd come from more than anything else right so it's like kind of escalating things we're jumping from like one to fifty yeah yeah that's yeah that makes sense um Oh, anything else, sir? That I can think of. All right, well, that's it for me. Thank you all. Uh, good to see you, Steven. Liz, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you all later. All right. Okay. So, sorry to join back. Um, you know, I you know, I think that, honestly, <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I feel like I've been... I don't know, man. Maybe it's just... I, maybe I'm just, like, biased. I feel like I've been going a little too hard on Mr. Girl. Maybe he just makes me uncomfortable, and I'm, like, bad faith, like bad faith lensing him like, too much. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel kind of fucking bad. It was the first time, I, the first thing when he when he's like, oh, he's, he's coming in. I was like, okay, he's just trying to like you know be part of this. You know what I mean? Like he's just trying to insert himself into this. But you know, I don't know. Yeah. So, shit. I feel like you know something. I feel like mm -hmm. what? I feel like you should uh, know something. I don't know if this was said on stream. Um. So Matt, hello. Did John come on here and say he had no involvement in the document? Did John yeah, come? Did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's a blatant fucking lie. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna no. like. Yeah, that's like. That's a complete lie. And he. he Wait. Uh, hold on. Are let you me... trying to tell me that John Swan lied on the <laughs> internet? No, I'm pissed that he left this to like a fucking 15 year old to defend. That's true. That that's actually a good point. I did not think of it like that. Like he came in and he basically said like, yeah, you know, I wasn't really involved in this, and uh, you know, I get it. It's pretty bad. And then he's like, okay, goodbye. Uh, let the 15 year old defend herself. Not even that, but like let a 15 year old and like a 17 year old defend themselves. Although that 17 year old is pretty hard. Like he's pretty tough. Remember, he said that people get beat up for talking to 15 year olds at 18 in his area. So he comes from the hood. So you know, he be he comes from the hood, so he could defend himself. But it's pretty fucked up. Oh boy. Well, actually, now the question is, does John want to come back? I think I'd like <laughs> Don't believe so. He should not. But I mean, you know. And also, did did everybody did was it also mentioned that Cam's autistic? I think that also like adds a little more to this. A little bit. I don't know if that's super relevant. I don't. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I'm used to hearing that as like an actual insult when it comes to like these online fucking edgy gamer kind of field. 
Um, no. hold on. But also mention that Cam's autistic. I think that also like adds a little more to this. Oh, what? I don't know if that's super relevant. I, don't I have no idea. Super, I don't think that's super I'm, relevant. To this. Oh no, you ruined Cam's whole dude. Listen, not for nothing. I feel like you should not have mentioned that. And the biggest reason is because like if he is autistic, that's like listen. It's that's like private information. Like there are people who are like very high functioning, for lack of a better term, where like you couldn't necessarily tell. Maybe you just think that like they're a little bit awkward or whatever, um, which I guess could be a factor in maybe the awkwardness of the chats. Although fucking kids chatting and sexing is awkward in general. They're all fucking like dumb and weird. Um, but like that's like that's something that's kind of private for him, and you kind of just blew that up on the internet for something he may not have wanted to talk about. And then on top of that, like if you heard her reaction, and I'm not saying that she's a bad person, but she seems like taken aback by it. She's like, "Oh, he's autistic. I don't think I'll be showing him my um, boobies anymore." You know what I mean? Like you might have you you might have stopped this guy from being able to really talk to girls a little bit, which is kind of like unfortunate. Um, I feel so like it's kind of fucked up. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have put that on blast, you know. Wait, Cammy's autistic. Okay, Cammy's also very high mind? functioning. Okay, I didn't yes, know that. but he is, he is, okay, he's high functioning, but he's like very, or, I wouldn't, would you say high functioning? He's like pretty socially yeah. impeded. Well, yeah, but you can have like high functioning autism and have like. Yeah, why, I, I don't think we, that's like, why are we having this debate? This is, this yeah. so I, I guess, but doesn't, doesn't that attest like a, an Dude, understanding stop. of social norms? It could, but like we're not even at the point where he was like ignoring social Take the hint, bro. Shut the fuck up. Okay, give him, give this kid a break. This kid's had enough of, uh, this kid has had, has enough fucking trauma right now from getting canceled on the goddamn internet. All right, it's gonna be worse now because you're fucking saying he's autistic. So give this dude a fucking break. Oh Jesus Christ, this is fucking crazy. Like, just take the hit. That's he's like, yeah, just not talk about it. But he's like, oh, but wait, wait a minute, he's fucking autistic. Oh, like it's like, all right, dude, give the kid a fucking break, dude. So I don't think it was like relevant, right? Okay, yeah, I don't enough. think we have any indications, like any cues mm -hmm. that were kind of given to Cammy to be misunderstood here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. God. No, I think I think the, the like decision Didn't for Lisa's document says. was. <laughs> Like moronic. Oh my god. Yeah, we we had a very similar discussion on my server a little bit ago and about documents on the internet. Okay, well, if there's nothing else, it's like directly relevant. I don't want to like keep mounting the stress um, for yeah. Liz because this is going to be like mm -hmm. pretty difficult for you. So if that's it, I'm guessing John doesn't want to come back. So I don't think so. Um, I don't know why he said that he didn't have any involvement. So yeah. I think, like, you just genuinely, like, didn't want to... I mean, like, going on about how John yeah. Swan is, like, the fucking uh, kingpin here probably is relieving to, to, to this girl, because part of the thing that's probably fucking her up right now is the feeling of, like, oh, my God, did I just ruin this fucking kid's life? Or now it's, oh, my God, did I ruin this autistic kid's life? Oh, and now she feels terrible. <laughs> so, you know, this actually might be a bit of a cathartic experience for her to be, be here right now. I mean, it's, well, I guess, like, the thing that upsets me about John's behavior is that, like, he says that, but, like, looking through his Twitter likes and everything now, he's, like, super, like, driving this home. Like, he's, like, liking a lot of shit about it. He's, like, trying oh, to cancel shit. the fuck out of the camp, dude. So it seems, like, kind of shitty that he basically saddled oh, shit. the whole blowback on Liz and then is, like, profiting from it, like, via social credit on Twitter. This seems a little bit shitty. But... Oh, shit, dude. John Swan is yeah, naming himself. Yeah. Artist yeah. fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we have this chat, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yeah. Good. Uh -oh. Good. It was it's a nice. pretty interesting discussion. Uh, it was uh -huh. it was good to talk to you. John, um, John, um, John nice Swan. That was yeah. Interesting. John, yeah. let me just tell you something. What I've learned from this conversation is everybody named John is a piece of shit. So if your name is John, don't talk to me anymore. Oh boy. Nice <laughs> shot. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Right. Yep. Well, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah. Later, bye. Tell a boy, Jesus boy. Christ. That's what. I'm... <laughs> what a. What, what a fucking deal! Yeah, for sure. Do I, for sure. I, then I'm not. Hold on. I don't. I'm not saving people. <laughs> this is not. I'm not. Wow, Destiny. This is the Giga Chad saving people from cancellation. Oh my god! Is this John Swan? John Hello. What's Swan? that? John. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey, yeah. So I just wanted to clear some things up because I actually. Is that John Tron? John Swan? Right, dude. Oh man, I feel bad for you, brother. He tuned out for a bit, and then someone else had to give me like the quick fucking recap of what just happened. Um. So Liz came to me with a story initially about everything happening. Oh, it is it is it is John Swan. Where the fuck is this fucking tank? Holy shit. It is Jonathan. How did Listen, no offense Jonathan, okay? I don't want you to feel bad about this cuz you already got a lot on your plate. How did you become like a how did you become a large commentary content creator with that voice? What's the draw? Jonathan Swanathan. What's the what's the pull for that? Like, who is like, you know what? I want to listen to somebody who breathes through their nose. Like, I don't really under... Oh, dude, this guy's like... Dude, fucking, he seems laying and I can't even heal this guy. I'm, sorry, man. I'm not trying to be fucking rude. I know I'm a fucking obese animal, but... 
I just feel like good for you for over- overcoming that obstacle. Good for you for overcoming systemic oppression. Um, oh, wait, that's he, John Swan, the John Swan. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, so Liz came to me with a story. Um, she basically told me that, that she felt she was taken advantage right, we of. Already, we, and, listen, it's fine. You could have just been like, dude, I fucked up, and I thought this was worse than it was, and I didn't like think of it in the way that I fucked up. Instead, you're doing everything you can to push, like, to, put to, to, to make it seem like you had no one fucking involvement whatsoever. You have a lot of involvement. You are the adult in the situation, and you're still a young dumb kid, so you know whatever. But you, you're the you are the older person. Everybody else is like 15 and all that. And that you know, her friends had opened <laughs> her perspective and said, "Oh, I was taken advantage of." Yada yada yada. I saw some of the DMs. I yeah. thought this looks pretty bad, and so I gave her some advice. I said, um, "You could maybe write a doc," and I put her in touch with some of these other people. And I said I'd help out with a doc, but I didn't really end up. Wow. So you basically, so you you fucked up. So he he saw it. Wait a minute. This is what you're telling me. You saw it. You were like, hmm, this is pretty suspicious, like a character from the popular hit video game Among Us. I'm going to direct you to resources for you to express this uh, suspicious nature to these other people. And then that my, then my work will be done. And then what I will do is I will signal boost the fuck out of this document to make this other person <laughs> seem like a fucking pedophile. And it's like, ah, yes, that's exactly what happened. Oh, okay. But I, but outside of outside of suggest, telling you that this is actually a really big thing, whether he knows it or not, outside of saying that this is really bad, like you're 20, right? You know how we talk about how it's inappropriate for 20 year olds and 15 year olds to like date. Well, the reason is because 20 year olds have like a lot of say over 15 year olds because 15 year olds will end 20 year olds are dumb, but like 15 year olds will believe a lot of things from a 20 year old, right? It's different from like a 25 and a 30 year old because like the gap's different. You're more mentally developed. So if you can suggest to a 15 year old that they should have sex with you at like 20, you can also suggest to a 15 year old at 20 that you are like the fucking moral arbiter of the internet especially when you have a, a, a small level of fame and people are like oh my god John Swan has like how like 100,000 or 200,000 or how many of her hundreds or 300,000 followers like this guy must know what the fuck he's talking about because young kids are again they're stupid and they don't really understand anything and they think that that's like oh wow he's famous he must be smart like you know <laughs> and so like you, so you suggested that this was really bad um, and then after that fact um, you set them up to be able to write a whole fucking thing. I, I just like lightly suggested them that they should write a 20 page or whatever page document to, 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 to take them down. And it's like, holy fuck, bro. Like why all you need to do is say, bro, I didn't think of it like that. I fucked up. Done. Everything's done. You're done. Thank you so much for the sub subscription friend. Princess and Pamina just subscribed. But here we are. Yeah, that's like what happened essentially. Okay. Does that clear it up? Like I, I, I did, I had nothing. I was not like the big ringleader of like everything. That is not that true. Sound, I, I made contact. <laughs> it sounds like you kind of are, even in your downplay. Perspective. She made contact with me initially because uh-huh. I think we are kind of mutual friends. Yeah, I understand. Uh oh, it's her fault because she made contact with me first, bro. You see what you're doing here, dude? Oh, you're being a little suspicious. Like about you. I wish you learned how to take accountability for your fuck ups. That's all you really needed. Have you guys? I, I didn't have anything to do with like. Like writing the doc, um, or anything. I, I was not involved with that. Sure. Wow. Have you guys? Um, have wow. you guys ever played a game called Jenga? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ages Jenga. Jenga. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, like, based on like what I'm hearing, it kind of sounds like that's what happened. Um, Jenga works because everybody is kind of moving in a certain direction, and there's not like one person that's doing it, but it's just kind of like the know, group dude. conscious is moving things in a certain direction. So mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it seems like that's what happened, but um, yeah. That's um, have like you guys ever like. played this game called Among Us? Well, if you have, basically in this game called Among Us, uh, what happens is there is a suspicious character from this Among Us. uh, And basically, this suspicious character fucks everybody else over. And so it sounds like (laughs) there's one suspicious character from this popular hit video game that I believe we call Among Us. And they have uh, manipulated the events (laughs) into making it seem like someone else is the imposter. uh, This 15-year-old girl, when in fact they are the imposter themselves. Right? They claimed... They claimed that another person has vented in the control room when, in fact, they were the ones who actually vented inside of the control room. That's what it sounds more like to me um, in general. Mindset. You know, I think, yeah, things got lost in translation. And I, I did, to I be fair, so, I did say I would help out with the doc. I did not end up helping out with the doc. Uh, ah, yeah, that was, British that was, bastard. That was the, English? Was that was probably you, where you the have been tweeting. You have been tweeting gloating about uh, destroying his life, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think I think it's pretty. Much, it's probably pretty normal that if you feel like you're on like some righteous path, that like you've accomplished something good, you've been a part of something good. Yeah, that's maybe true, in that's retrospect, true. that's not exactly what's happened. Like I can understand the feeling of wanting to feel like you've done something good or take credit for something good, but um, 
But he, that's yeah, the thing I, is, it's I, not I, like it's not like he's like, yeah, bro, I fucked up. He's not even saying that. He's just like, I just had nothing to do with this. And then he's like, well, you did. And he's like, well, and then Destiny is giving this guy a tremendous benefit of the doubt, by the way. You know, he's given him a lot of slack here, which is like fine. I don't think it's totally terrible. Like, again, we have to understand that this guy's 20 and he's like a young, dumb fuck. But still, I mean, it seems like he's done stuff similar to this multiple times. So at this point, you know, he's really fucking himself up. I, I don't know. I, I just oh, he's an Aussie. Cringe, just fuck. That, that's really uh, sure, but like all sex. I don't think it's a predator cringe, or anything. Right? Okay, but you guys are calling him a predator, right? That's the problem. I don't know. I wasn't involved with the doc, so I don't know. I didn't. Oh my god. I, like said he wasn't a predator. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I think. Wait, hold on. The other guy that yeah. said you said it wasn't a predator. You made the tweet, <laughs> right? Hmm? You made this tweet, yeah. right? <laughs> Oh my! Uh, that, 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 that was a poor taste. That was a poor taste move. Well, yeah. it's not just in poor taste. Okay, right? We're. Oh boy. It's fine. I would say this meme rates about a sussy on the sussy. I hate titans. Turns to a titan. I hate ghouls. Turns to a ghoul. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're calling him a bit of a predator here. I, I, I truly wonder what Keemstar's perspective is on all this because he thinks that it's uh, grooming for a 19 and a 17 year old to interact so he must actually be defending this perspective here uh, since Keemstar is a fucking uh, moron. I, I, I truly wonder. I wonder what he what he has to say about this. About this whole thing. Ibaka scale, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's fair. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Turns into a ghoul. Um, it's, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Oh my god. Yeah, damn. I feel like Okay, yeah. Jeez. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think the DMs are cringe. I think that was pretty much it. Like, yeah, but like, we're not, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't nuke people over like <laughs> cringe funny. DMs, right? We nuke people because they're uh, predators that count. I don't know. Commentary community can. Yeah, I, don't know. I, 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 I think it comes down to a difference in worldview. Well, no, it doesn't come down to a difference in worldview. You're, you're a fucking moron. I just want you to understand, like, you're so fucking stupid. And the reason that it pisses me off so much is because I will talk about occasionally, we talk about people like Glenn Cameron, like, fucking literal predators. Disgusting fucking predators. Like, well, it comes down to a difference in worlds you between 18 and 15. Shut up. Please stop. Shut the fuck up. Like, stop trying to play, like, and pretend like you live in this magical place where this is, where it's like a, it's not a fucking worldview issue. Like, it's such a slight, like, again, yeah, you might think it's inappropriate, but you, you called him a predator. If you think that he's a predator, you're just stupid like you could think something's inappropriate about being a fucking predatory so shut the fuck up with this whole dumb fucking like i think it's a world it's not a worldview you're not right in anybody's world sphere you're a moron and it's fucking annoying because you're just doubling down and then being like but i had nothing to do with the document i don't think he's predatory but also i think it is a predatory because based on my worldview it's like no you don't like you just don't want to be in fucking trouble and this is the problem where like what this guy did was like bad but he keeps doubling down on it and trying to fucking manipulate the perspective into seeing like he like he's not wrong and he just he he looks stupider and stupider i would have respected a, a i fucked up but like this is not what's happening you're it, it's, I think it's based on a worldview shut the fuck up what are you talking about you're insane what are you saying it's just so stupid it's so fucking dumb. You're just trying to gotcha people. Yeah, exactly. For like, that's what it really seems like. This is what it's coming off for. Like, and he's just doubling down because he he was like he got so much positive attention for like the fucking hour that people were you know believing him. You know, you mentally distressed a fucking eighteen year old kid, whatever adult. But you you mentally distressed an eighteen year old and a fifteen year old girl over this situation. Now you're just like, yeah, I still think I'm doubling down on it. Get the fuck out of here. Like at the end of the day, yeah. I, don't know. Okay, so I think eighteen fifteen is kind of like so. Really do you own weird. the document or not? like do you do you no. own pushing no. this for? Okay, so you didn't do the document. No, you, you were not involved at all, except you were involved. You tweeted. You gave her advice initially. I gave her advice. No, you gave her the. I don't want to be like combative because they're kids. Like if you start fighting with it, that's not what I think that the focus on this one should be on Liz because she's the person who's everything's gotten leaked about. Who's like mind is getting torn in two different directions right now. Right, there's an unbelievable amount of pressure for a teenager. Right and then two, probably Cam, the guy who's most affected because it's the document about him. Yeah. I don't want to get into like these huge back and forth debates over the other stuff, but. Listening to the stream kind of changed my opinion a little bit, I would say. What? Oh, he must have said that too. Yeah. Okay. So where are you I think at? I got a different perspective now. now. They must have asked why he's being so charitable. I, I feel it, bro. Like, I feel like I understand that totally makes sense. But this John Tron guy or John Swan guy at this point is just being such an insufferable cunt that, like, it's at a point where it's like, dude, you, like, the, the, he, he's, I've, listen, bro, you should, you, you know, you attract more flies with honey. That's what, that's what you always say. But sometimes when it gets to a point, where you know you're gonna have to just be a fucking asshole. Sometimes, like you, you know, if if it's like, hey, you know what, this was wrong, this is wrong. Well, yeah, and they double down on it, and then they say that I had nothing to do with it. The, but even though they're the fucking basically the kingpin of the operation, at what point do you be like, dude, are you fucking full of shit? Like, stop acting like a dumb fucking child. Own your shit and move on. Stop being a pussy. Like, you know, sometimes you need a little bit of tough love. Okay, sometimes you just need that. I, I'm still trying to trying to process. I think, but. <laughs> Who's what? Well, if you had to decide right. whether Cam's uh, career should be ruined over this or he should be banned, I couldn't give you an answer. <laughs> Bro, dude, 
Oh my god, are you stupid? Fuck, bro. You're so dumb. You couldn't give an answer? Why? There's no... Dude, holy shit. I'm fucking flabbergasted right now, dude. Holy shit. Point. I'd, I'd, I'd have to I'd have to think about it a little bit more. Run over things in my head. I don't know. Still have Bro, all right, what, what, what fucking mental disorder do you have where this is something that needs like depth, deep critical thought? <laughs> I'm just I'm so fucking confused, bro. Oh my god. Happened very quickly. <laughs> but you but you did it again. You're saying it's uh, I didn't like, do anything. He was one of the hands on the Jenga board. Right? It's not true. Yeah, you're yeah. one of the hands on the Jenga board. But the, yeah. also, this is not your first rodeo. You've done this many times. I don't know about many times. It was one other time. Okay. But, yeah, okay. I don't know. I took a I, I well, definitely. I mean, how many times do you have to do something like this and fuck up? I don't know what the other time is, but it sounds like he also dropped the ball there. How many times do you have to make this fuck up before you learn? You know what I mean? What was the other time? Can somebody tell? Can somebody educate me on that really quickly? What was the other time that he orchestrated like a cancellation? Was it justifiable or not? I mean, the way I did that was just fucked. So I don't know. I, I okay, that sounds was, like that it was, was bad. not okay. So I don't know. Okay. Wait, real quick, just to check yeah. on it. What, how old is? Are you John? Yeah, I'm twenty. Okay, good, just checking it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right. All right. Hopefully that clears some shit up. Um, yeah, really, I don't know. But, it's, okay. That's. I hope that's. Wait, am I, I, I saying Jenga board? board? Oh my god, I mean Ouija board. I'm so sorry, dude. My bad. Oh, I thought you meant Jenga, like you're pulling the things you're out. You're pulling the things out? That's what I thought as well. Okay, you know, whatever works. I guess it kind of works as well. Yeah, sure. That's the beauty of the English language, you know? That's just anything can be anything, okay? I wanted to be an English teacher in other life, so. Wow. Uh, but John, okay, uh, John, again, this, this tweet. This tweet where you're you're rubbing it in his face, saying mm -hmm. he has to go. Now you're saying public know. opinion public opinion is not going your way. It's, now you're saying, well, I don't. You're now you switch to a totally non-committal position where you're like, well, I don't know who. All right. Which is like, fine. I think that's okay, okay right? Non-committal position is like on the it's, road. It's, it's okay changing if your it's mind, true, right? but it's not all right, okay. All right, all right. Listen, I totally take everything back from before, but Mr. Girl, his destiny is being too much, a little bit too much of a pussy here. Okay, we need Mr. Girl in our lives at least here. Um, <laughs> as long as our lives are above the age of 18, we need Mr. Girl in our lives because somebody needs to fucking. Somebody needs to like, like the, the. I don't think it's reasonable to be in a non-committal position. Like I don't. Like again, you can think that it's not right, but it doesn't mean that it's fucking horribly wrong, based on like your prescription of the fucking world. Somebody's got to give this kid a spanking, bro. This grown man. <laughs> okay. It's fucking stupid. He's lying. Well, but like I wouldn't expect somebody to flip their mind. He's twenty years old. He's not gonna flip his. He did a similar thing with a fifteen and twelve-year-old age gap, but where the fifteen-year-old was was actually thirteen. Oh, okay. Oh, incredible. Mind at a dime, like in an argument over this, right? Like I don't think I would expect anybody to, because you got to consider from his point of view in this no, culture. No, you don't. He's approached by a fifteen-year-old girl. Dude, you're no, but he, dude, oh no, dude. Okay, I mean, this needs just being really nice. What culture? Because, because, get the fuck out of here. The the age of consent in, in Australia is like sixteen. It's, it's the same in like the fucking UK. Like it's not. There's not this wildly different culture of like super fucking morally righteous people over there, um, at all whatsoever. Okay, it's fucking insane. Who's already telling him that other friends of hers have told her that it's wrong. So what's he going to say, right? Of course he's probably going to vibe off their opinions. He's not going to be like, oh, no, this is fine. Uh, right? So like, I no, understand I his disagree. perspective, even if I disagree. And we would hope that people would conduct a little bit better. But it's not like his perspective is totally mystical, right? Well, you know, I, a yeah, little but bit. That doesn't explain saying I was not involved at all. That's true. Well, I was go. not involved in creation of the document. Did you, you were. Say that. My... You just said I wasn't involved. No, no, no. I, well, if I said that, I was wrong. I was not involved like in the writing of the document. <laughs> that, that's what I meant. So if I said that, then that was okay. incorrect. But, but he was really... involved in the creation. He literally said he suggested to create it. That is an involvement in the creation. He's he, this is the problem. His whole fucking thing is like dumb, terrible. I said that. I think that you are sensing the winds changing and are True. now I trying agree. to be on the uh, right side. Of I don't this. like you don't think that like listening to this conversation maybe, yeah, you could have a maybe, change like, of heart. Maybe you know, I'm I don't know. I don't know. I like I uh I don't know. At the end of the day, like I'm, I'm. Yeah, but I'm you're not saying you're, you're not saying you made a mistake. You're saying you weren't. Like you can't have it both ways. If you change your mind, then what do you mean? Like same. I, 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 I talked to the girl. She told me what she had to say. She sent me some DMs. I thought they were fucking strange. Okay, so what about this? What them. about this gleeful tweet about? I think in, uh, I think in John Swan's perspective, uh, in his defense, it's, it, it's, uh, it's understanding that he would find like sexting uncomfortable since he's never uh, even been in, within five feet of a girl. So he probably doesn't understand what like how even. He probably like thinks that like holding a girl's hand is like oh cringe, and then he comes his pants instantly because of any level of like human touch and affection. So I think that's where the problem is here that we're like we're not understanding is John Tron's never interact with a girl before, so he doesn't understand. He thinks everything is cringe because the girls have fucking cooties. I mean, I, I you guys really should understand this. I feel like we're not really um, in his culture. When the culture is uh, is incel culture, he does never touch the girls. Uh, uh, anything before he, he's never he's never even seen one right without them throwing up I'm assuming so we have to understand that we have to respect his culture
a hundred percent. We need to respect his culture much more. So, uh, how Cam? Cam that's just a, that's like a common meme format. Have you never seen this before? I have seen the yes. I'm not asking yeah. about the format. I'm asking about the content of the tweet. The sentiment yeah. that you are gleefully uh, laughing while this person's life is destroyed. Yeah. Do you think if, someone if, can make a joke without like that reflecting their actual views? Yes, someone can make a joke Maybe. without reflecting their actual views, and if that is your stance. Um. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the joke. Sure, but that doesn't seem to be what this is. He said he's a okay. <laughs> So if you're saying if you're saying oh i believe this is an injustice against cam i just made this tweet because it was funny but it actually represents the exact opposite of what i believe that's fine if that's the position you want to you're take. you're reading but, but way you... too much into the meme okay like, fine yeah I, that's another position is that uh, you tweet no i don't i don't think so dude i'm fucking actually like i'm i'm here for it i'm here for this i'm here for this mr girl shit out things that we shouldn't read into if public opinion sways so that it doesn't line up with what oh the tweet says then we're reading too much oh into it gosh. you can take any position you want here but I, what what you're doing <laughs> is, is you're just like slipping away you know from holy from everything. shit dude what do you mean i didn't have like what was you're saying you weren't involved what? when you clear you, you, you're a bald face lying saying you weren't involved what do you mean then you called no, up by multiple, people, multiple people Bro. including liz oh saying you weren't involved so then you're like okay i was involved no but, yeah uh, but i think if i can break i think when he says when he says he's not involved what he's thinking no, is like stop, he was like the document, but he was like the person. Destiny, bro. You're honestly, I fucking hundred percent rescind before, where I, I, where I was basically just saying that like Mr. Girl being an opportunist because without Mr. Girl here, this would this would be like a fucking nothing. Like this, John Swan deserves to be torn into, not based on what he did, but based on like his reaction to what he did. And Destiny's like, oh well, if I mean, you have to, just, come on. Sometimes you gotta just. Some, dude, sometimes you just really got to put your fucking big boy pants on. You got to shit on people. Like, I get it. He's 20. He's young. And you want to be empathetic to him because he's a young guy. And he makes everybody makes mistakes. But, like, he's being a fucking little asshole about it. Okay? Sometimes you need to be told. You want to know what? The best piece of advice here? I'm going to guarantee you this is probably 100% applicable here. Okay? John Swan is a fucking 20-year-old kid. Right? I'm not saying because he's 20. I mean, 20-year-olds are kids to me because I'm older than that. John Swan's a 20-year-old. Okay? That got famous when he was, like, younger. He never matured past the age that he fucking got famous at. And he thinks that he can operate like a fucking child. That's what it really boils down to. Okay? There is, like, a... We need to normalize kids' understanding that when they hit 18 that they're a fucking adult in some cases like i remember when i was younger this is some really good advice for me i was younger i was like i think i was like 19 years old and i was like working a job with like the uh, two guys okay and at one point there was a guy i had like a problem with it wasn't a big deal he's a nice guy we would just had like a stupid thing that's just what happens at work and he's always on the phone with his wife right and at one point I, and we had a fight and i was like yeah hey, get off the fucking phone with your wife right and then he's like don't talk about my fucking wife right uh, and then the uh, and like we had like a fight about it and whatever. And then afterwards, the other guy was like, "Listen, bro, like you need to understand, like you're an adult now, and like when you don't talk about other people's wives, and like back in the day when you said dumb shit like on the internet, like it was like whatever. Um, but now you're like you're you're an adult, and so you're going to be treated differently. And so like somebody might hit you. Okay, does that mean does that mean that like you know you, you can't acknowledge that he's young? Yeah. Um. But like he's you're an adult now, and so you got to be treated more like an adult sometimes. Okay, yeah, keep my wife's name out your freaking mouth. Yeah, so kind of, but it, it would kind of be like if, if we ask Liz's friends, right? Were you involved? Wait, you they, said he was lying too. You said he lied. Yeah, I know, but like ultra combativeness, I don't think it's like the way to is the way forward here. <laughs> I do in this case, not not fundamentally, but based on like the interaction that's going on, I think that being I, it's not being combative. It's it's like it's it's like pressing him. It's like pressing him to like not be able to, to fucking like snake out of this. That's what it is. Listen, <laughs> okay, well. but, but but you think he lied? Like you said that? I don't think I I, I I were think you it, lying when you said you thought he lied? I, I think it was I think it was half true. I think he felt like Maybe. he probably should have said something. True. Well, no. he could he could have just been like, yeah, here was my involvement. Here's why I did what I did. Well, people were discussing the documents, so no, I didn't have anything. To, like that was the whole topic of the conversation, right? You are saying I didn't have anything to do with the document? Did you put her in touch with the people who wrote the document? Yeah, I didn't authoring the documents. I, okay. He said he suggested that they make the document. What the fuck? Else? How much? Like, he's pretty involved in the document enough. Okay, he's the fucking. That's like if a contractor comes to your house, like, because you want to remodel your, your fucking bathroom, let's say. And the just, you know, contractor is like the manager of the situation. They hire other people basically to do the jobs. And like, you're the contractor, and the contractor comes in and he hires somebody to 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 install like the toilet, somebody to do fucking, you know, do like the fucking flooring, the whatever. All right. And then after it gets fucked up by somebody, the contractor's like, oh, well, I, I just, like, let's say they, let's say there's a mold spot on my wall in my fucking bathroom after I hired a contractor. Let's just say that there's a mold spot. It's like, hey, can you tear this mold spot out and then replace it? And they don't do that. And I tell the contractor, well, I didn't do it. Okay. Yeah. I had no involvement in that. No, the contractor's a fucking moron that doesn't get hired again because he fucked it up. 
Okay, <laughs> that's what happens. You know, he, John Swan is basically the fucking contractor here. He didn't directly write it, but he suggested that they write it. He put her in touch with people to help her write it, and then apparently, even afterwards, when people were telling me, he actually did like edit the document and like update it and this and that. So he's a dumb fuck douchebag asshole lying fucking person that's acting like a fucking kid and like you have to hold them accountable for that be like dude you're acting like a fucking child because you know what sometimes like if you i'm gonna be absolutely honest with you if you pressed him harder because he's not getting it and he's done it's already over i'm pretty sure he has no credibility left like if he even even had any before this he's done if you pressed him harder to get him to finally admit that he fucked up in that conversation that could have saved his fucking thing. So if you're coming from this perspective, it's like, oh, I don't think this is the way to go, like from Destiny. I, I think that you're wrong. I think sometimes people need a little bit of tough love, right? Like, you know, sometimes you need to be a little bit of a kick in the ass. And we didn't, it's, you know, because the other shit's not working. This is not working. So. I'm sorry. I, I worded it incorrectly. That's my fault. Okay? It's not incorrect. It's, it's just a fault. lie. If, when it's you not. I worded it. Oh my gosh, dude. Why if it were a movie, so you'd be the producer. We're trying so hard to like weasel, like do a little weasel. Uh -oh, I don't understand. Yeah, I'm the Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Can I, okay, John, can I explain Mr. Girl's perspective for you? Yeah, yeah friend. Okay. So, I don't know. I'm, it's not getting through to me. Here. No, no. Yeah, I understand. So the issue is that <laughs> it's not um, getting through you. the, the, the frustrating part <laughs> is that regardless of who's involved, there is like arguably a, a real victim at the end of this. If everything yeah. is as it's been said, Cam is like a victim here. He's gotten 100%. supremely fucked. And yeah. one of the most important so things for, um, for for moving forward in situations is for some level of accountability to happen. But something that's very mm -hmm. frustrating is sometimes a bad situation will happen and everybody will kind of stand around looking at everybody else and nobody will take responsibility. So then there's no accountability and then nobody really changes their behavior and then this stuff happens again Obama. and again and again. So I think when Mr. Girl sees you saying like, oh, well, I had no involvement, the, the fear is that like, you don't think he did anything wrong. And then in the future, if another like 15 year old girl comes to you, he's like, hey, this guy that was 18 was flirting with me, you're gonna put her right on the same track. I think it's like the perspective yeah. that he's coming from, right? Yeah. Steve, All right. Can, can I, can I, I just think it's clear that John yeah. Swan has 166,000 subscribers. Yeah, but he's he makes, 20 he years makes old. Commentary, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He makes commentary videos that get 100, 200K views. Like, it's, it, yes, he's 20 years old, but he's also wielding a pretty big sword here. Yeah, I agree. So, like, yeah, I, you're, you're, like okay, I just want to make that clear that you're not talking to, like, uh, you know, a, he's not he's not super, like, green here. He's not, I think, not, like, he's, I think he's, he's, I think he's pretty green. It's both. I mean, sure. that's the problem. But you know, no, that is, is the problem, and that's why I'm like, I'm not trying to say yes. that anyone. I of think that Destiny's the issue here is that, like, he, I think uh, his his little bit nonchalant attitude comes from the fact that he doesn't really respect the commentary community because they're dumb kids that talk about Jelly Bean and Minecraft YouTubers. <laughs> He's probably not wrong, but he probably feels the stakes are somewhat low, and that like they're not super super socially intelligent. But the thing is, is again, like, it's pretty clear that John Trent is like lying to try to push off uh, blame off of him. He's just like, I, I absolutely lying. Like that's the problem. It's not like he's like, yeah, fuck. Okay, I didn't think of it like that. He's just saying he had no involvement, and he's like just lying. So he's full of shit. These people. The the joke I made earlier was that in high school we fought with knives, but these guys are <laughs> fighting with nuclear weapons, right? Because right. we would have done the same shit. Yeah. But my issue is that like these guys have grown up with like YouTube and social media, like that's the norm. Yeah. I think that's really bad. But I don't think it's their fault, right? Like they're just playing into no, the I system. Don't think that they, I, don't think fault. I don't think John Swan is a bad person. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, sure. Okay. I, I understand mm. it's a systemic problem, but I think no, I I sorry, but I kind of do think he's kind of a bad person. Again, it's not what he did. It's the way that he's talking about it in the aftermath. I do think he's like. Do I think like I? Yeah, I kind of do think he's a bad person after this. To be honest with you, like this is a little. This is kind of souring. It's unfortunate. Like, why? Why isn't he a bad person? Because like I get it. He's he's bound by the fucking online Twitter moral bullshit. But then he's even saying where he comes from. You'll like this is bad. No, it's not. Where he comes from, I doubt nobody would give a fuck like a singular fuck to be honest with you. Where he comes from, he's referencing like Twitter shit because to try to, to to prop up his perspective. Like he's not being honest about most of the things that he's saying. I think that if you're doing that, you might not be a bad person, but you're doing something that a bad person would do. And if you don't course crack, people are gonna think you're a fucking bad a fucking bad person that doesn't deserve any credibility. And like that's where we're on right now. So you know, give give this guy some shit. Give him some fucking shit. Give him a kick in the ass. Tell him that you think he's shitty. Like, yeah, dude, I think you're being fucking, like, really shitty. I think that you're hurting the social conversation. Now, what once have we talked about, like, real predatory behavior? Like, what when did they say, like, bro, you think this is predatory behavior? Like, I talk to people who have been violently fucking sexually assaulted, and then they blame themselves for it. They think that it's their fucking fault. Uh, you know, like, this is, like, real shit. Like, where are we at? Oh, you have, like, a 15-year-old girl, like, sexing with this 18-year-old, cons like, consensually? Like, oh, yeah, that's not, that's not fucking, like, that's not it. You know, like, why aren't we bringing that shit up? Like, educate this person on, like, what the fucking real world is about. You know, like educate him, like tell him, like fucking use this as a teaching moment. Sometimes you, you need to, like, you, sometimes you're gonna get your ass kicked. Like I remember, <clears throat> I was younger, and I think I walked on like the Boston like Freedom Trail. I was a Boy Scout, so I'm an Eagle Scout, <laughs> but I was a Boy Scout and I was young. I had just gone into Boy Scouts, and like I remember going in there and I made like a disrespect. We we went to a point on the trail. Fuck! I just tripped the rope. Fucking asshole. 
we were at a point on the trail where we came to like a, a respected religious site and I made like a really, I don't remember what the joke was. I made a really insensitive joke about like religious shit and my fucking hard ass Vietnam war veteran scoutmaster, he pulled me aside and he very bluntly said to me, he said, you don't have to believe in anything you don't want to, but you need to be fucking respectful, right? That's, we, we learned a lot that day. <laughs> That's a very impactful moment in my life. Very positively impactful moment in my life. Okay? You can't, you can't be afraid to be a little bit of a fucking hard ass and a little bit of tough sometimes to get people to, like, understand if this is not getting through to them. So, like, I feel like that's the kind of fucking tough love that this kid needs or he's just going to be a dumb... He's going to be dumb and worthless and, and it's bad. It's the worst for him. He's the one that's going to receive most of the negative end at this point because everybody already knows he's full of shit. But now you're not even teaching him how to have proper accountability. So... Think that being you need to make him recognize somebody, his role in it, right? I want to make him recognize his role, and I also mm -hmm. think that, that now is a chance for him to just come, like, just just take a position. To like, come. like, part of the problem is that we're all just rolling along with what's happening, mm -hmm. and that's like how a witch hunt works, like like a Ouija board or a Jenga tower. There's no one individual person who okay. is, you know, at fault for everything. Mm -hmm. um, Which but, is why that statement you, that you just okay. made, I think that's why John is saying, like, when you're like, well, did, were you involved? He's like, well, no, because no, he didn't, because he doesn't no. want to feel like that individual person that was like the responsible party, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah, but if this were going the other way, and it was like, dude, are you the one who found this pedo? Yeah, of course they would. But I mean, like, that's him? what. And that's he would what... say it was a hundred percent. This was my idea. So I just. Sure. I <laughs> that's I, true. It's a fair uh, point. Yes, I agree. And in some ways, he's a kid. Well, I run into this a lot. I'm like, like, yeah, yeah, he's a kid, but like, he's also, he's also not. Do they have a lot of power these days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like Kim Jong Un. This conversation sounds really you know? condescending. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound this way, but. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, okay, uh, so John, people are correct. sending this to me as well. Uh, Aiden has mm -hmm. put out a tweet. Uh, if you want to read any of those off, if you want to, um, this contains direct messages. I'm not sure about the context of these. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh, he, oh, you, bro, you noticed the quiver. Mm -hmm. You heard? Did you hear it? And this contains direct messages. I'm not sure about the context of these. Mm -hmm. um, did you? Yeah. Oh, did you hear? Oh, that. That is genuine fear. That is genuine, unadulterated fear. If you heard that in his voice. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, his, he couldn't even let out like a, he couldn't even exclaim like a yes, like a mm -hmm, without without basically tearing up. Like he knows this is a fucking shit storm. Like uh, I don't know if you can oh. you can fill me in here. I'm pretty yeah. pretty out of it. What do you mean? That was when I found out. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when you found out, you said I have the biggest bombshell in history. Um, <laughs> what, what's the one you sent you to? If you don't mind me asking. I was just the biggest. Server. Right. Yeah. Okay. What and I didn't tell everyone at the end. I, I did. I was. I, I thought I would, and then I, I ended up not doing that. But no, no. It was just when I found out initially. I. I, I don't know. It was very shocking because I knew Cam as well, right? Mm -hmm. Like I was. I was, was kind of cool with Cam initially. I don't know. It was just. It was really shocking. Uh, I think that's kind of maybe why it was more shocking as well because obviously I knew this guy. Obviously, even if you don't know him, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, would you mind if I just read it out for the stream so everyone can? Uh, yeah. Sure. Them, sir? All right. Sweet. So this is the tweet by Aiden, which these are attached to. It says, oh, I don't I like leaking shit, but genuinely I don't care. I'm not going to let John put the responsibility of this on a 15-year-old. He manufactured the document, didn't tell me what was going on. I let Matt slash haha yeah, 15 years old, take the blame and then lied that he had no involvement. It contains this screenshot, which was apparently sent to a private server. Um, fuck, everyone's asleep. I have the biggest bombshell ever in the history of bombshells. Oh, uh, no one is here to witness it. At here, uh, when somebody or when oh, someone wakes shit. up, ping me, please. And then next to it is attached direct messages, I'm assuming, between uh, you and Aiden, where it says, Swan. Uh, Bro, the facilitator, the mastermind himself, the fucking, the mastermind, Jonathan Swanathan, I have a fucking bombshell. You are emotionally low. That bombshell, that's not even close to a bombshell. What the fuck are you talking about? Guys, I have a bombshell. You guys ready for this bombshell information here? You'll never expect it. I have diabetes. Oh, wait, I'm fat, so you expected it? Oh, shit, is it a bombshell? Okay, this isn't what we call a bombshell. It's just a thing that happened. That's it. Hey, I have something to tell you that makes me slightly uncomfortable. And I didn't go to Cam first and say, hey, I think this is kind of shitty behavior. Okay? I went right... You guys, we have a bombshell. We have a story. I have to write... I'm, I'm coming out with a video here. Write a document. Where's, do you, how, long, how long do you think he... How much effort do you think he put into creating the commentary video on that? You know, yeah, he walked down a fucking high school hallway of like fucking 35 bombshells just <laughs> going from first to second period. You know? <laughs> oh, shit, guys, there's a bombshell. This is another one. Oh, shit. It's like, holy fuck. Um, 
You responded with, not happening. Uh, you will know soon enough. Aiden replies with, why? What? You told everyone else. Um, you replied to him with, I'm telling the people directly involved. You were not directly involved. Aiden attaches the aforementioned screenshot where you added everybody in a server. I added here mm -hmm. in a server. And then you replied with, I changed my mind, hence the private group job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, what are you, like, what is that? I just figured they might have some relevance to that you're, that you're actively participating in the dog pile. So now if you're saying your, your position has changed, does that mean that henceforth, are you going to not participate in the dog pile of game? I think that's maybe a good idea. I don't know. I, I have to think about it a little bit more oh, as well. Oh, I think that's maybe a good idea. I might be reading too much into this, but that sounded more like I don't know if I want to because it won't be good for me rather than him acknowledging that what he did was bad. Right. And I get it. He's still saying I'm on the fence or whatever, but it just seems like a very um, him centric perspective. Like if you because if you actually believe that this is like fucking if you legitimately believe that this is some fucking predatory behavior, which you're wrong about, then go ahead. Move forward with it. Defend your perspective and tell me why outside of the people in my town beat people up. Is that him or is that another guy? Give us a reason why you think it's so inappropriate. Like, you know, like, I mean, listen, I get it. It's uncomfortable and I wouldn't I wouldn't let my kid do it. But like fucking ruin a kid's life over this shit. Well, well, like, so you might, know, you might, so you're saying you might, you might continue. Because, like, again, like, if I think I'm done. Double, I think I'm done making tweets about this. I think I'm, I'm, I'm you think? I think my, I, why? I, the meme was the only thing I was ever going to say. I wasn't ever going to say anything more. Like, that was it. We're liking other people's tweets. Well, to be clear, I don't think that's true, right? Because if it would have continued for like a few days, you guys all probably would have been tweeting. <laughs> Make fuck out about it. No, nah, right? I don't, I don't usually <laughs> get involved. No, no, I wouldn't have. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. But whatever. It, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay. Yeah. I don't know. That, uh, yeah, I don't know what, what you mean by those screenshots. Okay. That's when I found out. Like, I don't know. That was really, really shocking for me. Why? That was, that was Why is it so there. shocking to you? Sure. Okay. Well, I think eighteen a, and, and yeah. twelve would be the biggest bombshell in the history of bombshells. Okay, just, huh? I, well, I think maybe like uh, maybe like thirty and twelve would have been a bigger bombshell, Mister Girl. Like, okay? I like, want to be. <laughs> the messages you read, the messages they mate, they're pretty yeah. fucking. Okay, graphic. but the messages are always going to be graphic. It's sexting. Yeah, I, I know. But, right. but, so but, but, but it doesn't matter. It's not even the age gap thing. It's just the messages are insane. That's what. Like, oh, that's a bad fucking move, brother. And there it goes. It wasn't the age. The messages were insane. What was said? Because now what you've said is you're pulling the age out of it. So what could they have said that was so insane that it was consensual? Okay. I've texted fucking... I. <laughs> Okay, listen. All right, listen. The things that I say to my fucking wife, and like when we sect sometimes, are horrifying. To the point where you guys would probably be physically uncomfortable. We are two consenting adults who enjoy a lot of different things. Okay? If you, you could read my consensual conversations with my wife, and you'd be like, this is fucking horrific. Okay? That's fine. But would you cancel me over it? No, you stupid asshole. Because we're consenting adults. It's okay if I say horrific fucking things. Okay? We enjoy a little CNC in my house. Okay? Like, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. What's so hurt? Dude, I swear to God, this guy has never touched a girl in his life. Like, he just thinks everything is so bad because, like, that's just, that's it. It's like, oh, my God. He said he wanted to touch your boobies. That's horrible. I've never seen a girl before. Like... Because it's sexy, insane. right? It's normal, All sexy normal messages sense. are really extreme. You don't know Kamai. That's what I'm gonna say. You no. don't know Kamai. If you knew Kamai, you would you would you would agree with me. Like that's what I'm saying. What does that mean? No, everybody's different when they're sexting. That's why. That's, that's fine. why this is but, so. Yeah, that's why I thought. That's why I thought it was weird. Like 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 I don't know. I I just thought it was like insane. That's that's. Oh, well, you're sure. wrong. Like, that's so. not the extent of it. All right, look, can I just say I think I, I still think Cam's girl. weird and crazy. I I think fucking. Wow. Maybe you shouldn't have done this. Like maybe this great. Maybe maybe you shouldn't be reading other people's sexting messages. Like fucking hot take. Maybe you're a dumb kid that doesn't understand anything. <laughs> but I I do think the duck was like impulsive and shit. Okay, you think you think he's weird and creepy because of his because of the age? Or well, no, no. I think I think the, weird and creepy is fine. You can just, have that opinion. It's just no, what is you can't. You can right? you can think it's like weird and uncomfortable, but creepy. No, that's because you guys don't talk to fucking girls or sex and you don't know what it's like. It's a, it's especially for kids or not even kids, like fucking young people, 19 fucking or 18 year old. If, if, even for like fucking young adults, it's awkward to sex with people. It's a weird thing that you're doing. And a lot of times like you'll say something and like you'll test like a slight boundary. You'll be like, I want to lick your toes. And they're like, oh, maybe I'm not into that. This this conversation is still consensual, but I don't think I want you to lick my toes. You know what I mean? Because you're still kind of exploring stuff. So fucking weird and creepy. Bro, John Swan's re weird and creepy, okay? All right, here, if you have a bird as your profile picture, you probably fuck birds, okay? That's weird and creepy to me. That's just my basic understanding. That's how I perceive the world. 
And everything's valid nowadays. So it's valid that you're weird and creepy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how stupid that sounds? You like to fuck birds? Like, I'm just making that assumption based off of how weird and creepy I think your profile picture is. Like, I don't think well, we need I to change. Know, like, is it just weird? Is it weird and creepy to sex at all? Yeah, that's. It's probably that. It's going to be like when people's flirting DMs get leaked. People are like, wow, what? A, that's so cringe. That guy's cringe. It's like, well, is sure. it really cringe? But like, I don't think we're here to change their mind on like evaluating somebody else's sex. sex. I think I am. I think I am here. I, 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 I think, think he is. I am. I am not going to be involved in that. I actually have to go, guys. I'm sorry. I think that Mr. Girl is the hero of the story. I, I have to. I have to leave. Honestly. Okay. Um, Honestly. God. Hopefully, I clear right, everything up. You did. Um, you. Terrible dog yeah, shit I asshole. I guess that's it. Speak to you guys well, just right. remember, when everybody else is throwing pebbles, you're throwing Thank stones. You, I, I hope, I genuinely hope that this, that, um, that this, this kid, I'm, I'm giving him a, uh, that's a tremendous benefit of that by calling him a kid because he is a fucking technical doll. But I really hope that this kid understands that he's lost a tremendous amount of respect from a lot of different people. Um, and that should upset him to a point where he course corrects his behavior. You know, there's always a way back. You could always climb back if you get your shit together, but like, holy fuck, bro. <laughs> Just, <laughs> holy shit. Jesus Christ. You know, you're on, you're on Keemstar levels of fucking stupidity right now. You know, your, your, your voice carries a greater weight than the average person. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Girl, for that insightful information. All right. Be careful, dude. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> All right. All right. So, do we, does anyone have like any uh, ending takeaways for that conversation? Yeah. When you okay, yeah, sexing, like the person you are when you're in a highly aroused state, talking to someone. Okay. Else wait. 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 Can I make one request, highly... and then you can do everything you want with this combo? I don't, does yeah. Liz want to be here for this because it seems kind of weird to like <laughs> talk <laughs> about like kicker. Ban Liz from the call. <laughs> Not really paying attention. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's best right now. Maybe it's best. I'm going to be very maybe careful with how I say this. Okay. No, I don't even mean for pedophile shit. I don't care about that. I'm saying for their because like having like your DMs and conversations like leaked to it's like already like really it's, embarrassing. Yeah, it's scary. The whole well, not yeah, scary. It's like just it's... Like, embarrassing and cringy. So, but okay, dude, you know what? You're not going to say about mm -hmm. it. Okay. Right. I think that that yes, everybody is different when they're in a highly aroused state, as, and the person you're talking to, you know, is also in a highly aroused state. So there's basically no inhibitions whatsoever for how you're speaking. And when you remove those, like, social niceties and it turn into, like, an animal, basically, like, the stuff you're going to say when taken into a completely different... Fuck, I don't know. I'm happy with the rest of the conversation. I don't know how I'm going to be here with this part of the conversation. <laughs> uh... I get that. When we read something like this, it's not the other way around. We act like we can take their messages and broadcast them on Twitter or in other public non-sexual spaces and be like, look how weird this sounds. But it's only, like, yeah, it's going to look weird if you look through, like, a peephole into someone's private room a and see stuff that you're not supposed to see. So... I, I think that I'm concerned about the just general anti-sex sentiment and like the shaming of people just for being sexual. So if you're focused on the ages, then like that's one thing. If there's a focus on like a consent thing, which doesn't seem like an issue here, then that's another Wait, thing. But if it's just on like, oh look, this person who isn't isn't normally saying filthy things, we have them saying filthy things. Isn't that isn't that sick? It's like no, it's not sick. It's just private. Yeah. Uh, um. I don't know. I again like, it's just I have a I I think 15 and 18 is like strange. I know. Like you probably sure, yeah, yeah. strange is different from fucking predatory. Like stop we need to normalize oh my god, this guy's so fucking stupid. We need to normalize understanding that um like your like this is dude, this is a huge online problem. Everybody thinks that because they have a feeling that it's like valid and I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole, it's not. You might feel something is weird, it doesn't mean that it that's predatory. You know, you can get uncomfortable without it being fucking sexual assault. You can feel like you can feel bad about something, you know what I mean? Like, you could do a bad thing without being an abuser. Like, you, it's like fucking, oh, uncomfortable equals fucking pedophile. Like, holy shit. Like, what world do we live in? It's fucking crazy. If it's about the ages, that's that's fine. I just want to push back on the idea that being sexual or having sexual conversations is, like, wrong or strange. I, I just, I don't think okay. it's very unusual at all. And, and they're always going to sound weird taken out of context. Yeah. Especially when you have sure. No, I think I could probably agree with like that. Sex the, the message is taken out of the original context, which it said it can definitely sound a little bit different. Right? There are obviously, things that we say are going to be interpreted differently in the different contexts that we see them in. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Well, do we have any closing comments on the on the drama? Is that it? Uh, I just says I have to lay the uh, the sweat of the document. Have to there's, a, there's an interesting aspect here that I don't know if people are like I think Mr. Girl might be touching on it but nobody else is really touching on it and it's like the shame factor of like younger people like getting like sexual I know that sounds weird because it's uncomfortable to think about like young people doing that 
but like uh it's it kind of ties in with the way that we educate people in school about sex about sex we do we we we, we preach abstinence like sex so it's like you shouldn't be having sex don't have sex that's how we deal with like sexual health care it's like don't have sex don't do anything you're you're young don't do this you'll die if you get an std every time you have sex you'll get an std as, as rather uh you'll die if you get pregnant you're gonna fucking die you're fucking pussy's, pussy's gonna explode from having a baby your pussy's gonna get loose if you have sex too young you you'll, you know, and then what happens? These kids, like, they have very sexual feelings. Like, young people have sexual feelings, whether you want to admit it or not. And then what happens? They go and they have sex. And guess what? None of the things that they that were told in school happen. All of a sudden, they're like, well, the teacher lied. So I'm going to start doing everything, like, in an unprotected way. And it's like this sexual shame uh, aspect that comes into play. And it's like, yeah, you're basically, you understand, you're putting this, like, 13-year-old girl. Every time you say that the, the conversation was awkward, creepy, and cringy, you're putting her in a situation where she's like, oh, I don't think I ever want to do this again. It's not good You're like to lend to this, like, weird po- potential trauma, not because of what happened between her and this guy, but because of the way that you've pr- tried to profit off of it, basically. Um, and that's going to lead her to become, like, like weirdly, like, sexually uncomfortable and repressed as she gets older. Like, understand that this is something that then she gets older and she has, like, a very negative interaction with, like, she's going to have an unhealthy relationship with people and sex as she becomes, like, a legitimate fucking adult. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I hope you guys understand how much... <coughs> You, you don't probably realize how much you guys are potentially contributing to like a really like really fucking this girl up for the rest of her fucking life like holy shit like she might have like difficulties developing like dude like it's not it's not impossible that like some guy might be texting her in the future that she's really like enjoying and getting along with and then they start to get flirtatious and she's like and just she just has this like internalized idea that like this is really wrong and uncomfortable and like cr- cringy and creepy and like it needs to stop and it's really bad and it's like you know you you're controlling contributing to that bro it's like fucking insane it's fucking crazy huh? i have to lay the uh the document oh sure hey okay. well documents okay. all right for now well, it sounds like case closed yes. um, well I'm, I'm happy we got to this point i am okay yeah well this is a, a nice chat yeah gonna all right off now. be careful dude. Okay. what is Stay this safe. Um, okay. so, yeah cool all right. Uh, right, well, see you guys one later. last thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, Destiny. It. One last thing. People are gonna kill me if I don't bring this up to you. Okay. Uh-huh. I've had people harping me like the last, the last like couple of weeks since you replied to a tweet. All right okay. about me. Okay. People really want us to debate something at some point. Um, it's primarily Xenogenders. Uh, you replied to a tweet with like somebody. Keep hating you, like, your life, then. Fuck it, Andy. Okay. Um, you want to set it up sometime? Um, <laughs> Xenogenders. Uh, you know what? Maybe. Oh, since you humored me for this conversation. Maybe. Um, sh- do you, um, if you shoot me an email, do you know how to do that? That's usually where I send my shit up at. All right. Uh, can you send me the, the email? I definitely can't send the email. I've only got the uh, yeah. The, DM me on Twitter. Years I've been on this earth. Dude. Sure. Or just DM me on Twitter, and I'll respond there. Okay. I did DM you on Twitter, but then I got suspended, so that okay. that DM's not there anymore. Well. All right. Um, it was it was nice being on your stream, though. It was uh, it was a good chat. Yep. Thanks a lot, my duders. Have duders. a good one. Yep. Have fun. I can't say that anymore. Although I don't say duders, I say doodles. My mom used to say that to me. She said it to me when we were in uh, the Cub Scouts. All right, my doodles. You know. That's it. What a... How much what less we left? Just everything. Yeah, for real. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. What a... Uh, what a world. Mm. The Harley girl messaged me to chat. Um, or not messaged me, but I see she's like tweeting stuff or whatever. Or in my Discord, I think. Or YouTube chat. Um... If she's saying she doesn't want to chat publicly though, but like everything is very public. So at this point, I feel like either talk publicly or not. I don't. I'm not, I don't want to sound condescending, but I want to do high school counseling for for everybody. That's not what I'm here to do. Okay. Jesus. True. I don't know if you. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um. Do you remember what I? Do you remember when I joked a long time ago about like? I feel like people like retroactively traumatize each other. Um. I feel like this is what just happened here. That we just saw that happen. That's that's exactly what this was. So that's it's kind of weird that it popped up so. Like, perfectly. She would like to apologize for arguing, you defending, grooming. I went too far with that. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Someone called the eyes out. That was nice. Um. Christ! What's happening in our schools? <laughs> Shit is fuck, bros! Oh my god! I mean, schools and parents have never talked about this. It sucks, too, because you can't really talk about this, because... It's like... There's, like, two untouchable things in the world, okay? Like, children and... Gender identities, okay? Now that we should be touching children. Um, oh my god. But like, as soon as that's brought up, you're like, fucked. Because 
Yeah. Like, imagine you want to have a conversation. Like, we need to stop outing predators. Like, the optics are just fucked. Like, you can't. You can never even talk about it. Like, it seems like impossible to even address the address the issue. You know, that Harley girl. I'm sorry if she's still here. I'm not trying to call you out. But like, even if every video was good and justified, I get worried seeing um this much like righteous indignation about pe like this is a lot mm. for if you're i think somebody said that harley girl was 17 to have this much time dedicated to like trying to find an out predators and stuff wait is this harley wait is harley a he i don't even know i'm sorry i don't i don't know what the identity is i'm going to be incredibly careful we'll make interesting he i've been saying she or maybe it is maybe they go by she I don't know. I, I, they, them. Okay. Are these videos basically all exposing videos? Yeah. That's just to be 17 and being this deep into it. It's, <sighs> Dude. It's a little bit scary to me. Right. It's not even being that deep into it. Like that's not the first thing that rings for me. So I, um, I remember when I, um, all right, bro, fundamentally as a content creator, when you get big for doing a particular type of content, it's usually in your best interest to continue making that content. Not a fucking hot take. So if you get big for doing fucking ASMR videos, you continue to do ASMR videos. Really simple stuff. If you get big for unboxing Pokemon cards, you're going to do more Pokemon card unboxing, okay? If you get really big for outing predators, you're going to start outing predators. The problem with this is, is that when you can't find a predator to out... You create predators. Most people do this in general with their content. If you don't have a thing to do content about, you start creating content. You start looking at a situation and going, hmm, can I make this look like this? And you start to, to, to create that type of a scenario. Okay. And I know this because like I was there too, and this happened. This is worse when it comes to like commentary fields. It's not really that bad when it comes to like building fucking Legos or something. Okay. You really can't fuck that up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, when you're looking for, for things in, within like a fun, more entertainment realm, it's totally different. Right. Okay. Um, but when you're looking for this in like a commentary sphere, especially like a predator outing sphere, all of a sudden, you know, you start to kind of shift the rules. All of a sudden, it's not the worst predators in the world. It's just some guy that might have done something that makes you feel a bit a little bit yucky. And then you mix in a field, <clears throat> which is like the Twitter space or, or the field of, uh, of predator calling out with Twitter space um, ideology. And all of a sudden, what happens there? Okay, so now fucking what you what children on the internet would consider a predator is now a predator, and now all of a sudden you're making a video about oh my god this behavior is so predatory because it's an 18 year, you know what I mean? And especially for kids, like in general, we can make arguments about like the way that uh, villagianti was that what you said? How you say it? Um, justice is like kind of a negative thing. Um, it can be very negative for a lot of different reasons. I think it's good to call out predators because sometimes the police don't do a good job, uh, especially when you know they are. But one of the problems is, <clears throat> and I talked about this a little bit before, I think this is more like the EDP case, right, more than anything else, is like in the case of EDP and, and going after him, uh, there's, when you when you watch the, and, and I'm not saying he's a good person because he's a fucking scumbag piece of shit. Like he was trying to talk to somebody who they thought was 13. But um, a lot of times with a lot of predators, and this is like a little bit of a vibe that I got from it, they are attracted to children or, yeah, they're attracted to kids and young people, <clears throat> and but they wouldn't necessarily go through with it. I know this sounds really weird. What happens, though, is that like when you're in the scenario, yeah, it's a person posing as they're 13, but they actually do have the mature, like the mental maturity of an adult. And so they're going further than uh, a typical kid would probably go through to try to meet up with the person. So like I would it's a reasonable assumption to make that like an actual 13 year old wouldn't have legitimately like pressed so hard to meet up with EDP like they did. Like he was like feeling like apprehensive, but he's like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. And they're like, oh, you have to. Blah, blah, blah. I really want the cupcake. I really like you. Like they were encouraging it. And again, EDP is the scumbag here. But so then what happens is they push them to meet and then they meet up. Okay. And then what happens? He gets in trouble. But then does he? You know what I mean? Like then he gets off the hook legally. So he's off the hook legally. Um, and then all of a sudden he looks back and he goes, okay. Well, I remember when I was talking to this person, I thought that was 13 years old. I remember feeling uncomfortable when they said this, 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 or this. I remember feeling like a little uncomfortable when they pushed a little too hard to meet up with me. I think next time I try to talk to a girl or a young person, I think I'm going to make sure that I listen to that feeling um, and, uh, and I listen to that feeling and I don't hang out with them. And all of a sudden they get better at it. Right. So there's just like a lot of different ways in which like it could be rough to do this whole like village, village. Why can't I say village ant village 
vigilante justice. You get what I'm saying? Uh, there's like a lot of conversations to have about that. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't try to expose predators because like I think that like predators are pieces of shit. But especially a young person that doesn't have like the fucking mental understanding of really anything in life. They haven't experienced anything in life, so they don't really know shit. Trying to go around canceling people for we saw this year that they still think that the 18 or 15 thing is like justifiable, which is not. Uh, on top of the fact that like it's very you can you can end up having the unfortunate and unintended consequence of of actually encouraging child predatory behavior because you 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 allowed them to kind of like you know go through almost like a like a first-hand experience of getting away with it you know there's a lot of reasons that, to advocate like kind of against it especially when young kids do this kind of shit so like even if it's all good like that's a lot for your brain to deal with at that point in time you know how do you manage to be involved in multiple dogs have youtube channels and go to fucking school bro social life is some serious shit man <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of shit going on Big Luganti. I got YouTube clip in your tabs. Is you predicting the outcome? I think my hold on, hold on, hold prediction on. was technically wrong. Hold on. Uh, Big Luganti pronunciation. Vigilante. Vigilante. Holy shit! I knew I was saying it wrong. Why did I say it? vigilante? Why did I say that so incorrectly? Oh my god. Vigilante. I feel like such a stupid fuck. Bro, I think I think I I I um I forget where I heard this, but I heard that like uh people who have like really poor eating habits, their fucking brain starts to rot. <laughs> I wonder if that's the fucking thing. I gotta get my shit together. Bro, vigilante. What is it? Vigilante. Vigilante. Oh my god, I can't even remember it for fucking three seconds. Village. Vigilante. Vigilante. Vigil. Like you're watching. Vil. Vi Vigilante, like a vigil, a vigilante. Oh my god. Vigilante. 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 Okay. Vigil anti. All right. Watching my aunt. Gotcha. But right. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, my dude? My name is like rolled up here like a few times. What's going on? Again? Were you involved in the creation Obama. of a document against Cami? Um. That's a I yes. wasn't. <laughs> okay. It was not the right thing. That is. Not. That is true. When you have to pause and think for a minute. Involved, man. No, I mean, I, oh, I, I saw it. Back okay. That. What's up, John Swan? How you doing, my dude? My name is like brought up here like a few times. What's going on? Oh, shit, I'm dying. Were you involved What's going in on? a document? Yeah, that, that cringe Cammy. voice on. That um, stutter. I think that when it comes to stuff like this, I, I think that it's easy to. There's there's so much I could say here. Jesus. But it's all like advice for high schoolers. So I don't even know what to say, actually, because I don't know how old most of you guys are. The sad thing is that, like, the Liz person is needs to figure out her shit. When I say figure out her shit, I don't mean, like, she's fucked and doesn't have her shit together. I mean, she's 15, so obviously she's got to think about all this stuff. Then hopefully the cam stuff can get rectified, and then everybody has to figure out how to move forward because, Jesus. It's easy. You Americans are just weird about all of this. Well, we're, we're not weird. We're just ahead of the curve, okay? So whatever you see coming in America, it's headed your way in five to ten years, Europe, okay? Hey, listen. I got to be honest with you. I love that he makes this point as we have this epic music playing, like America's number one, and then you have like the most epic music playing, because fuck you guys. Wait, also, wait, are you gonna lie and try to tell me that teenagers have it all figured out in Europe? I don't believe you, shut the fuck up. The entire thing seemed like a cucked simp wanting to go scorched earth on the guy. Maybe it could have been, but there's a lot of things that could have explained it. Remember, all along the pathway, every single person is feeling like some level of like self-righteousness. They feel like they're all doing the right thing. I think that's really important to explain why it, it moves in the way that it does. I can see why everyone loves this. I can see How do I call it? Liz is my friend who was used for clout. That's why the document was posted. I want to tear this person apart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on, but this is why I didn't want to go the full Mr. Girl route, because I, I think that the important thing is for everybody to figure out what happened, and then to understand how they feel about it, and then process that and move forward. You August. don't want to just reverse everybody's anger and now go scorched earth in the other direction. I don't think that's progress. I, get I think that. that's just more I of the same, that. I get right? That. Didn't we learn this at the end of the last- I understand what he's saying. You don't want to just, like, reverse the oppression. You don't want to, like, cancel him. But, like, dude, he wasn't getting it. I don't think it's a matter of processing. He's actively lying about the situation. It's one thing for him to double down on his perspective because he's not getting it. And then I would say, hey, I agree with what you're saying. It's another thing for him to actively lie about how he had, like, no involvement in it. And, like, it wasn't him. And downplay it as much as possible. Because that just suggests that, he, like, he, like, internally thinks he's wrong. And then, but then he's, like, externally claiming that he's still right. So it just comes off as incredibly, like, two-faced and disingenuous anyways i think that's the problem and if like you're not actually gonna like have like any level of holding like true accountability there or if they, you know then fuck it you know so what the fuck where's this guy at oh shit last of us too guys come on people like swan has financial incentive to do it yeah it makes it more complicated yeah, me. please don't even give him time of day but like let's be real even without financial incentive like these motherfuckers would still be doing it we didn't need financial incentives as teenagers to be dumb as fuck okay <laughs> it came naturally Trying to make inroads with the Zoomer communities. You guys wanted me to fight with the Zoomers. Little did you know, soon I'll be. I'll have armies of Zoomers that I can signal. Like I, I can mention that this game was. <laughs> oh my God. 
Yeah, true. All right. Well, that was a really uh, that's quite a dude. It's 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 so crazy how things like that blow up. But to be absolutely honest with you, and I mean this so fucking wholeheartedly, bro. I mean this so goddamn wholeheartedly. The commentary community truly came together to like really fucking down like shit on John Swan, which is a hundred percent appropriate. Um, because he tried to make it seem like an 18-year-old and a fucking 15-year-old was like horribly predatory, etc. But like seriously, I truly wonder, and like I'm not trying to come off as like fucking obsessed. Why does nobody care that fucking Keemstar ruined Call Me Carson's right life? Like, why do you guys not think like why are you staying away from like heavy fucking leaning into criticism from like the commentary community? Why are you so afraid of Keemstar? He f like, and he's not even a dumb fucking 20 year old. It's a fucking 40 year old man at the time. It was he, like 38 who fucking canceled a kid. He did that was it not even as bad. Okay. Even like the age was even less of a problem. <laughs> and it's like, holy fuck. And it's like, holy shit. They benefit from Keem. That's what it seems like. It seems like they are, they're afraid to like truly criticize him because Keem plays this game where it's like, I'm your friend, I'm your friend. And like, that's that's a fucking problem, dude. Like, that's a huge fucking problem. Like, this guy this guy weaponized fucking... And he'll be like, I'm just the news. Like, shut the fuck up. You're a fucking grown man, you stupid fucking moron. Like, have some accountability for yourself. That's the one reason why I can't like actually like Keemstar. Because like, he's a fucking pussy that doesn't take accountability for his actions. If he did that, then I wouldn't get... Like, it'd be like, okay, you fucked up, whatever. But, like, he, he, what did he do? Financial incentive to sensationalize the story against Carson and then intentionally uh, cover it wrong by, like, oh, not establishing their fucking ages and making it seem like there's grooming. And then going, well, his his 20 year old dumb fuck friends thought it was bad oh really hot take 20 year olds on the fucking internet are stupid god forbid but they thought it was bad like why are you why are you listening to 20 year olds like what what are you fucking child it's like holy shit you know it's fucking crazy it's crazy it's fucking crazy what are you talking about wait what destiny hates keemstar and has attacked him more than most also pretty sure d defended carson too Okay, I didn't... Okay, I think you misunderstood what I was saying. I wasn't saying anything about Destiny. <laughs> I was specifically talking about the commentary community not giving a shit about Carson. I wasn't talking about Destiny. I was talking about the commentary... Like the like that fucking... like uh, what, what do they call them? Zoomers? I don't even know what that means. That sect of the commentary community went like really heavily... Um, in on this uh, on, on on john swan which they should have done because he fucking tried to make it seem like an 18 year old was a fucking predator pedophile for talking to a 15 year old but those same people had like no energy for keep not that i saw for fucking keemstar uh, and it's because they probably like it's probably like a fucking financial interest or like some kind of an interest to be platformed by keemstar if if they don't do that Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that Destiny didn't have the fucking correct energy. I'm saying that the other people, the ones that are calling out John Swan, don't have the energy at all. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. And then like we sit here and be like, why are you still talking about it? Because you fucking assholes look at it like it's it, like it's drama news. It's like that's so last year, bro. Bro, a kid's life was fucking ruined because Keemstar needed a story for the week. You realize that shit, bro? You realize that fucking shit? Keemstar ruined a kid's life because he needed a fucking story. And you guys are like, that's so yesterday. You're the reason why this shit happens. Like, we're having a whole conversation about, like, like this whole fucking dude. Carson's the, uh, the victim of Keemstar's fucking insanity. Okay? And so that, that girl probably is, too. The, the girl was probably told that it was, like, the fucking most horrible thing in the world that was happening to her. And then she's like, oh, my God, maybe it is. And then all of a sudden she thinks she's a victim. And then Keemstar fucking reinforces that habit and that behavior. All that's going to happen is that girl's going to think that, like, any, like, minor inconvenience is going to be the most predatory fucking thing in the entire world. And then, like, all in the future, just setting them up for bad interactions in their own fucking life. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm just saying, dude. Um... In my opinion, the dream essence simp Twitter canceled Carson way harder than... Dude, he fucking... In, what are you... Dude, in your opinion, you're wrong. He encouraged them to do all of that. He missed... Dude, he got millions of views on a story. I don't understand. <laughs> in your opinion, how did they do that? With the fucking video that got millions of views. Like, you don't think that that encouraged them? A grown fucking man said, hey, you're right about something. And they were like, oh, shit. We we're feeling justified in this. And then everybody was like, oh, my God. And they just shit on this kid. Okay, 
So like don't don't stop trying to like push off this fucking thing. This is a grown ass man that gets millions of views that uses his platform like a fucking idiot and talks about shit that he has no understanding of. It's incredible that people are like, yeah, Keemstar is right about this. It's grooming, but this stupid asshole makes jokes about how women can't get fucking raped in the face because they could just move the penis out of their mouth. Like this is the dumb fuck that people are like, hey yo, she must be right about this. It's because of a bunch of dumb fucking boys who don't really understand sexual assault because most of the time men don't experience it, which they can absolutely experience it, but most of the time they don't. They don't empathize with it uh, at all. And then they fucking think that Keemstar is like intelligent because he gives them the time of day. And it's like, oh my God, a celebrity is talking to me? That's literally what it is. And they don't allow it to cloud their fucking mind because they think that somehow Keemstar is going to set their career up when the reality is, is he doesn't. Okay. The Keemstar will go on a fucking podcast and it'll get 40 views. Like, I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole here, but he did a podcast with those people. His name doesn't carry any like real clout. Like, his show is entertaining for people. I'm not saying that he's not successful. He makes millions of dollars. Good for him. But it's not like his name attached to anything is going to blow the project up, really. Okay. He doesn't really like he has like he has the ability to like platform things, but it's like it's not it's not like you're gonna get like this insane amount of fucking clout other than you're gonna be able to be part of this like bullshit commentary community because that's how he platforms it. He reaches out to you when you criticize him and he gets heat for it. And he goes, hey, guys, I don't want bad people to people to say bad things about me. So I'm going to offer you something so that you'll be my friend and then you'll feel less inclined to talk shit about me. And it works because most people are so fucking desperate for that ton of attention. That they that they fucking do this shit. And it's it's fucking crazy. And you guys are like, and it's like it just bothers me because you guys are all fucking up in arms. You guys are all fucking up in arms over this shit. But you didn't give a fuck when fucking keep started it. It just blows the shit through and up my, like up and out my fucking dirty asshole. I'm just being honest with you. Or what am I supposed to do here, bitch? It just bothers the fuck out of me. It really does. <sighs> this fucking bothers me. Oh shit, I can fly. It's good to see you. Um, I know people, like some people will be like, yeah, but Carson admitted that he was wrong. The Carson thought he did a wrong thing. You can, like I was saying before, you can manipulate somebody into thinking that they're wrong. If you have an entire, an entire sphere of people, like the Twitter sphere, can gaslight people into thinking that like a 19, 17 year old is wrong. That's what happened. He got fucking gaslit by the dumb fuck Twitter community, a community that Keemstar constantly calls out for. They, this is the funniest, like most ironic part. Keemstar calls out the Twitter community constantly for being like fucking annoying, which is fine. But then, like, the second it benefits him, he's going to, like, utilize their stupid bullshit moral prescriptions. Okay? You can gaslight people into thinking that they're fucking wrong even when they're not. Okay? it's That's how it works. It's just stupid. It's just crazy, bro. It's just fucking nuts. It really is fucking nuts. Oh. Oh. But the power dynamic. What about the power dynamic of fucking Keemstar reaching out to small commentary community channels? To try to like weasel his way in there so that they won't fucking talk shit about him. Because it's the truth. Okay. <laughs> it's fucking, it's the fucking truth. Um, okay. And I don't think I'm going to call it here. I should probably try to get off and go to sleep. Um, Yeah, it's one of the reasons you don't have respect for the commentary, bros. Yeah, well, they, they don't understand how they're, they're effectively assassinating their own credibility. But it's not like, dude, I think it's totally fun to be friends with Keemstar. Like, that's not my, my argument. It's not like you shouldn't be friends with him. Um, but the problem is, is that like, it's one thing to be a little bit of charitable to somebody that you're friendly with because you might know where they're coming from. That's different from just staying away from covering stories because you're friends with somebody. Okay. That's a fucking total death noodles move. And all of them are fucking coming their pants like, oh my God. He he didn't let the he he didn't call the, he misreported Def Noodles or Def Noodles misreported Keemstar. Oh, sorry, Def Noodles misreported Ethan's like fuck up when he like the LGBTQ thing. But then you guys do the same fucking thing for Keemstar. You guys are all fucking hypocrites. Okay, you guys you guys pretend that you fucking care, but you're afraid of this fucking guy. Okay, it's it's crazy. It's just fucking crazy. I know I'm like really bitching about it, but it's like holy fuck, bro. Like it it blows my fucking mind. Like you guys are so fucking. You guys really need to get your shit together because like you might have credibility within your own like, small community. But when people start to like when when you when you start to um, when you start to grow more and people look at you and they look at the way that you talk about Keemstar, you're you're going to be curbing your own credibility as a person. 
you're going to be decimating it all so that you can stay under the radar and like stay away from the heat from like the fucking Keemstar crew. Like, you know, it's fine to be friends with this guy. He seems like Keemstar seems like a, on a personal level, he might be a decent guy. He might be have like be uh, somebody you could be decent friends with. But like his behavior is fucking horrible when it comes to the Internet. Like he needs to stay in his own lane and stay away from like sexual assault shit and grooming stuff because he's no fucking idea what he's talking about. He's just so dumb. And it's insufferable. It's fucking insufferable. It just ruins the conversation. He'll fucking virtue signal about call me Carson and misrepresent that like so horribly. He doesn't give a fuck about like real predator shit. He doesn't give a shit about like real predators. He doesn't give a fuck about, like ground like Glendon Cameron. He doesn't give a fuck about anything like that. He's like real predators. Like he doesn't give a shit about any of that stuff. Okay. And if you ask me back, like, I do care. Well then fucking put up or shut up. Like what are you doing about it? Nothing. Because you don't really care. Okay. You look for stories that you think will be popular and then you just virtue signal over those. You don't really give a shit. Okay, you don't. You weren't worried about that seventeen-year-old girl, dude. Okay, you were just like shitting your pants out of excitement to fucking cancel somebody because you're looking for news. Okay, I see you on the internet, going, going, constantly going. Like, I don't have, I don't have enough content for an episode, guys. There's not enough to report about. I'll come back to you. You think that it's out of like the fucking wheelhouse for you to misrepresent something for attention? Mm, yeah, no, it's not out of the wheelhouse. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone. Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.